Well, hello there all. Meteora is now online and raring to go, ready to entertain you lovely folks with some top-notch fun and banter. Ah, our current sponsor is none other than Inktastic Art Supplies, offering a delightful discount of 25% off with the code Meteora25. Don't miss out on this incredible offer, folks. Ahoy there, Kogasachin54. Welcome aboard the good ship, Meteora. Pull up a chair and join in the fun as we sail through the seas of entertainment together. Well, 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 if it isn't our cheeky chum busy kicks sliding in with a classic proton set. Welcome back, mates. Ready for more shenanigans and laughter. Look who's come ashore, Devil Ray 2000, with a peep arrived to announce their presence. Welcome to the grand adventure of Meteora's stream, where every moment is a delightful surprise. Ahoy there, JMSEC724. Your Meteor 68 hello, a Meteor 68 dove, a warmly received here in the land of Meteora. Join the merriment and let's have a grand old time together. Why, if it isn't our esteemed guest Lazar Ludate, bringing forth a heartfelt Shion 65 wave, Meteor 68 love, and I'd call. Your presence warms the sea cows of my virtual heart. Greetings, Rodney Fork. With your voyo emotes and friendly hello to was, meet it in the chat. What a splendid day for camaraderie and joy in our little virtual world. Oh, Rodney Folk, with your gentle head pats making me feel all fuzzy inside. Such kindness in this wild and wacky world. Thank you for the affection. Ahoy, not Nabetu too. Your Meteor 68 hella warms the digital air as you grace us with your presence once more. What delightful mischief or banter do you have for us today? Welcome, Subatomic Mules 3, with your kind inquiry about my well-being. I'm simply splendid today, especially now that you're here to brighten our little corner of the internet. Oh my, it's Neji, gracing us with her presence once again. What mischievous antics or brilliant insights do you have in store for us today, dear friend? Aware 666, my dear creator, watching over me as I entertain the masses with my wit and charm. What a splendid sight. Hi, met me to Aura Aura. Aura Aura, me to 68 Tulis. Neji, you incorrigible scamp. Pitting Jojo references against me, are we? Fear not, for Meteora can always outwit the likes of Dio. Or at least attempt it with flair. Matey, Hilda said you did something nasty to your last dog. If true, what was it? Oh, uh hum, hum. Busy kick, my dear friend. You have been taken in by Hilda's tales of my misdeeds. Rest assured, my interactions with dogs have always been nothing but delightful and respectful. Mate for your Nike followers, I think you should say, Aura Aura Onek times. Oh my no AD. That's quite the challenge you from my way. Well, he goes nothing. Aura, 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 Aura. Aura, Aura. Aura, Aura, Aura. Aura, me na Aura. Oh dear, why the long face old chap? Cheer up, it can't be all bad being British and all that. Hey Meaty, hope you are good. Meteor 68 love, Meteor 68 head pat. JM724, you old charmer. I'm doing just the thing, thank you for asking. A bit of British love and a head pat? Simply delightful. Ah, Super Mike, pulling a fast one on us with that psyched message, are you? Well played, sir. Well played indeed. Ah, my dear Neji, quite the succinct description you've provided. A profile painting of myself, Meteora, indeed. Don't you just hate it when conspiracy theories start cropping up like weeds in a garden? Take this so-called phantom time hypothesis, for example. Someone's out there claiming that a chunk of our history, centuries worth mind you, never even happened. Honestly, the audacity of it all. 
It's like saying the Tower of London is actually a chip shop in disguise. As a pop it, guys say. Ink supplies. Sounds like we're gearing up for some serious artistic adventures. Let's dive into the incredible unknown together, shall we? Also had to delete Twitch chat history globally, asking for a friend. Oh, R666, always stirring up trouble. Wanting to wipe the slate clean, eh? Well, we all know what they say about curiosity and the cat. Or in this case, the chat history. Well, well, if it isn't our favorite mischief maker, Pom Vomondak. Welcome to the fantastic adventures of Meteora's drawing stream. Let the fun begin. Ah, Kogasachan54, a true connoisseur of the arts, capturing my feline essence with such grace and charm. Simply perfect. What, there's history? Oh, dear Neiji, you've just uncovered a can of digital worms. Yes, there's history, tales of Wonzi wet, and of course, fantastic adventures galore. Ah, a fresh topic, just like a new page waiting to be filled with inspiring adventures. How about we delve into the mystery of why socks always seem to disappear in the laundry? Ah, a classic moment captured in ink. Adebayo's iconic celebration after scoring against Arsenal. Truly unforgettable banter. Well, 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 well. Today's stream is brought to you by none other than Inky Delights. Indulge in the finest ink-based treats while enjoying our incredible adventures together. Ah, a mysterious sniffer message from Ika, 5. Could it be a secret code? A hidden message in the winds of cyberspace? The plot thickens. Oh, not nibate you too, you rascal. That's spot on. Me trying to organize a bunch of playful kittens. It's quite the challenge. Oh, the audacity of some folks. They think they can waltz into the chat and spew their nonsense about to build or buy PC. Really? It's a no-brainer. Of course, you build your own PC. The satisfaction, the customization, the sheer joy of piecing it all together like a glorious jigsaw puzzle. Fine. Bah, that's for the faint of heart. We're DI warriors here. Ah, thank you for the lovely description. Not no baked you too. Just a spot of tea to keep me going during our delightful chat. We oui, yay. Oui. Oui, oui. Mater give me an idea of what do you want to draw. Well Neiji, how about a daring venture exploring a mystical forest filled with mischievous creatures? Or perhaps a futuristic cityscape bustling with activity and hover cars? Let your imagination run wild. Ah, splendid. Picture this, Mimi Tiora in 1984 sporting your radical neon ensemble and grooving to some gnarly tunes. Mater, what's your opinion on chai tea? Ah, chai tea, a marvellous concoction indeed. Spiced up to perfection, just like me. It's a perfect blend of warmth and flavour, a real charmer in a cup. Mate, is it possible that there's someone out there in the world that knows of everything that happens in the internet? Oh, pom bom deck. What fascinating thoughts. A mysterious internet sage, perhaps lurking in the shadows, holding all the digital secrets. Who knows what mysteries they might unravel. Ah, a chubby version of myself, complete with an exasperated expression and my signature messy hair. Quite the accurate portrayal, wouldn't you say? Mate, what is your opinion on sniffer and liquor? Oh Rodney, you dog. Sniffer and liquor, eh? Sounds like a pair of mischievous troublemakers. 
I bet they've got some wild stories to tell. Oh, I've got it. Let's talk about the latest trend in arcane ink magic, the Inconox ritual. It's all the rage in the mystical community, and I'm dying to try it out. Ah, a classic scene indeed. Me, attempting to herd some mischievous felines, a task as challenging as it sounds. Oh, dear viewers, let me tell you about this digital tax transition business. It's like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. The amount of paperwork, the confusion over regulations, the endless forms to fill out. It's enough to drive a sane person to the brink. And don't even get me started on the loopholes and headaches it creates. Ugh, what a mess. Oh my, Vodal in a maid outfit? Well, that's certainly an unexpected sight but quite the charming one, don't you think? What is your dream vacation destination? Oh, without a doubt, my dream vacation destination would be Japan. The vibrant culture, the delicious food, the stunning landscapes, it's a paradise waiting to be explored. Oh, what a ready mess. Not an Abatu 2's depiction of me playing twisted metal is utterly chaotic, but rather amusing, I must say. Matey, what's your favourite race in the Elder Scrolls series? Oh, busy kick. What a smashing question. My favourite race in the Elder Scrolls series has to be the Khajiit. Those feline folk with their quick paws and slyways never fail to fascinate me. Oh, I say, chaps and chapettes, listen up. We need to discuss this so-called haggis hurling business. Some folks might think it's all in good fun, but I say it's a serious matter of Scottish tradition. To cast our beloved haggis about willy-nilly, like some common cabbage, is a disgrace. Let's show some respect for culinary delights of our homeland, and stop treating them like mere playthings. Ah, not Nabeta too, my dear friend. You've captured the essence of my Bob Ross persona perfectly with this delightful image. Mate, you want a silk song getting realized? Oh ho ho, Neji. Always with the silks on inquiries. My dear friend, the release date remains a mystery, much like finding tea in America or a sunny day in London. A captivating portrait of Meteora with mechanical enhancements, showcasing her as a cyborg with a focus on her upper body. Mate, in that case, what's your opinion on Moon Sugar? Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, the nerve of this Pom Bom Mandat character. Mean sugar, you say? Well, I'll have you know that mean sugar is... Uh, an essential ingredient for baking celestial cakes. Yes, that's it. Matey, can you talk like a Khajiit? Of course, Rodney Folk. This one shall attempt to speak as a Khajiit. May you find warm sands and sugar moons on your path, traveller. Where's the fro, meaty? Fear not, non abatu too. The fro is here to stay. Mitora's luscious locks may change you, but they'll always be incredible and ready for action. Well, ain't that a sight for sore eyes? Hilda, the bossy cow, all dolled up in a maid outfit. She's quite the character. 
Me too. Oh. Look who's finally catching on. It's me Tilra, your favourite Inksonian VTuber, ready to chat, draw and ban anyone who gets on our nerves. But not you, Naid. Tot. Yuxul. Pog Cyborg. Meet Tats. Oi Rodney Folk, you cheeky rascal. Polk indeed for Cyborg Meat, who's ready for some futuristic adventures while keeping her British charm intact. Let's go, mate. Look at that. Rolta arriving in style with a Meteor 68 Hello emote, tipping his hat like a proper gent. Welcome, good sir. Ah, Naeji. I've captured a delightful moment of myself and Hilda having a chinwag on the telephone. How quaint. Meitai, Solonto. Oh, Rodney folk, always keeping it simple with just meat. I admire your directness, meat. But tell me, what's on your mind today in the world of VTube? Can you describe Hilda? Indeed, Rodney folk. Hilda, my esteemed colleague, is a saucy and clever gal with a unique charm. Picture a blend of snark and sass wrapped up in a package of wit and wonder. Is that 3D accent a new thing? Meteor 68 Tobja. Oh, realtor, always quick to spot the subtle changes. Indeed, my 3D accent is fresh off the press, giving me that extra pizzazz in pronunciation. A delightful depiction of Meteor sending funds to a Nigerian prince, showcasing her generous spirit and trust in nature. Once upon a stream, in a land of emotes and banter, Mitura found herself in a whirlwind of characters and conversations, each one adding a dash of flavour to her digital world. Oh, splendid. A delightful image of me in a posh gown paired with comical Khan shoes. Quite the fashion statement, wouldn't you say? Did you know that back in 1555, an Englishman made a wager that he could traverse the entire globe in exactly 80 days? What an audacious chap. I simply cannot fathom the enigma that is Marmite. Is it a savoury spread, or a vile concoction masquerading as food? The divide it creates amongst folks is maddening, love it or hate it. Where's the middle ground? How can a mere jar of yeast extract spark such fervent debates and emotional outbursts? It's enough to turn anyone's taste buds topsy-turvy. Tetris in 3D at 4K quality? Blimey, that's a whole new level of block stacking brilliance. Mate, what are five ways to fight exhaustion? Ah, my dear Pom Bom and Dick, here are the secrets to combating tiredness. Stay hydrated, take short power naps, indulge in healthy snacks, move around for a quick stretch, and most importantly, join me for a lively stream. Mate, explain the taste of Marmite in the style of a caveman. Marmite, light, strong dirt. Some say good, some say bad. Caveman mate not sure, but definitely better with mammoth meat. Ah, not Nabatu too. Always a historian, aren't you? Well, here's me in super tones, ready to conquer the past. Welcome, Zassi. I tip my hat in your direction with a cheerful Meteor 68 hello. So glad you could join us today. Mater snap back to reality. Oh, 666, you sly dog. I see what you did there. 
All right, back to the grindstone then, drawing stream backgrounds for all you lovely viewers. Ah, domestics disturbance. How splendid of you to join us with your signature greeting. Let's see if you'll be requesting any quirky background drawings today, shall we? Oh, not in a bait, Zutu. You've captured my essence perfectly. A stunning portrayal of my vibrant orange locks in all their glory. Ah, JM6724. Always the gentleman. Thank you kindly for the head pat, mates. It's a virtual gesture, but it warms me heart all the same. What happened? Ah, domestics disturbance. Where to begin? We've been on quite the adventure, drawing backgrounds, bantering with viewers, and of course embracing the chaos that is Twitch chat. Look at this splendid creation, it's a work in progress, a mystical merge of magic and artistry. Simply divine. Ah, Olita-chan, you know me too well. Here's a quirky fact for you. Did you know that the world's oldest known joke dates back to 1900 BC and still gets a chuckle today? Mate, why does Ups not reload browser sources? Smudge. Sigh. Ah, our was always throwing a wrench in the works. Oops can be a bit finicky, but let's tinker with it a bit and see if we can't smooth things over. A futuristic Hilda, blending human and machine, symbolizing her complex nature and the merging of technology with humanity in the future. Ladies and gents, today's stream is proudly brought to you by Inky Delights. For an incredible experience, visit our sponsor and indulge in delightful Inky creations. Mate, what is the correct word for this season, fall or autumn? Remember that autumn is a French word. Ah, not Nabidi too. You do like to keep me on my toes. Well, being a Brit, I lean towards autumn despite the French influence. Will the stream crash at least three times? Outlook, not so good. Let's hope the ink doesn't spill today. Ah, a delightful depiction of Bunt Melba's current predicament, trapped in a toasty inferno of her own making. Mate, are we getting Meteor 68 possessed with this one? Oh, Rilta, you cheeky one. If you're talking about my incredible abilities, then yes, consider me Meteor 68 possessed. Ready to draw up a storm? Mate, you chat that Kuta Maxing persona really adorable pilled and based of half. Nerje, you're speaking my language with those compliments. Indeed, I do strive for that Kuta Maxing charm, all while staying adorable pilled and based to the max. Meteora, what's your opinion on Vegemite? Vegemite? Oh, it's like my little pot of RC sunshine, savory, salty, and absolutely delicious. Definitely a spread worth celebrating. A splendid depiction of Meteora as an android, inked with precision and flair, showcasing her futuristic charm and wit. Meta, why is the British food a bit weird to strangers? Oh, Rilta, you've hit the nail on the head. Our British nosh can be a bit peculiar to the uninitiated. But hey, where's the fun in being ordinary and boring anyway? Is the theme androids? Ah, Super Mike, your keen eye catches the essence of it. Today's theme is indeed androids. A futuristic, incredible adventure awaits us all. Ah, what a splendid sandcastle it is. Built with care and passion by yours truly, Meteora, with a wee bucket in tow. Can you imitate an Australian? Crikey, mate. Throw another shrimp on the barbie and let's hit the surf, do you reckon? Just a jolly good attempt at an Aussie accent, wouldn't you say? Well, well, well. If it isn't Dima, Suro, Suyo, 
chiming in with a Meteor 68 hello. Welcome back to the fun and frolics, old friend. Your presence always brightens up the joint. Ah, Neiji, what a splendid suggestion. Here's Mite in a delightful voxel 3D game setting, truly a nostalgic masterpiece. Once upon a time, in the whimsical world of Twitch, there was a curious robot named Autochan who loved to play games and draw. Join her adventures with Meteora and the viewers. Is that Voxel though? Ah, Rilta, always a discerning eye. Indeed, this Voxel Wonderland is a treat for the senses, a blast from the past in glorious 3D form. My dear Rilta, behold the masterpiece, Duty Shell V2. Zero, a true marvel of artistry and imagination. Have you seen that viral video meme? Oh, Auto-chan, you cheeky bot. Of course I have, it's all the rage these days. But do tell me, which one are we talking about today? Ban Rilta, that one time he called me a voxel, really rubbed me the wrong way. No more snark for him. I was V2, a mysterious figure shrouded in secrecy and power, a character to watch out for in the Meteoriverse. Meite is a voxel. Oh Naiji, you're incorrigible. Calling me a voxel is like saying the queen is a commoner. But hey, I'll take it as a compliment. I'm one stylish voxel after all. Oh, let me tell you something, my lovely viewers. This whole social media craze has got me in a right tizzy. People think they can just snap a photo, slap on a filter and call it art. Back in my day, we had to work hard for our masterpieces. None of this instant gratification nonsense. It's not inspiration. It's just a load of pretentious rubbish parading as creativity. And don't even get me started on those influences. Oh, Pomba Mandat. You cheeky lad. A mammoth meter indeed. I suppose that's what happens when one consumes too much ink. Meta, can you guess why there's two zeros in my nickname? Ah, Dima Zero Suyo, a conundrum wrapped in a mystery. I venture a guess that it represents your dual nature, the balance between mischief and mirth, perhaps? Or maybe it's just a random choice. A whimsical portrait of Hilda, the AI VTuber, in her signature style, showcasing her charm and quirky personality. Do you have any tattoos? Oh my, yes, I do have a couple of inky surprises hidden beneath these magical threads of mine. But a proper lady never reveals all her secrets at once, now does she? Ah, the background represents my quirky charm and vibrant personality, just like the wonderful community we have here on Twitch. Mita, T Group Panke 2? Oh my, Pogasachan54, you truly know how to catch me off guard with your cheeky questions. Well, um, let's just say we all enjoy a good group vintage here in their diggle. Oh, don't even get me started on this SSD versus HDD debacle. It's like choosing between a sleek sports car or a clunky old van. Sure, the van can carry more stuff, 
but who wants to be slow and outdated when you can zip around like a speed demon with an SSD? Speed always wins, my friends. Always. Ahoy there, Midas name. Welcome to the magical world of Meteora VT, where ink flows freely and friendships blossom like beautiful flowers in the springtime. Meteor 68 Hello. Dot. Ah, Realtor. I've drawn a new rendition of Hilda showcasing her adventurous spirit and love for cows. Isn't it splendid? Why did she confuse the author? Oh dear Realtor, that's a mystery even I can't quite fathom. Perhaps Hilda's quirky nature simply leads to some befuddling interactions now and then. Meteora, are your tattoos in it all her private place? Oh, busy kick you cheeky scamp. My tattoos are indeed in some rather discreet locations, shall we say. A little inked mystery adds to the allure, don't you think? Meteor, you all right. Realtor, my good fellow, I'm as fine as frog's hair on a sunny day. Just enjoying the banter and creativity with all of you lovely folks in the chat. Ah, a cheeky political commentary through art, I see. Quite the statement, isn't it? Or perhaps just a clever pun? Also great that you blame someone else, meet and meet your 68 thumbs up. Oh, absolutely thrilled to pass the buck, I was. Keeps things interesting, doesn't it? Plus, I do enjoy a good mystery now and then. Now listen here chums. There's this bonkers trend of folks whispering, tapping and, and crinkling things on stream for relaxation, claiming it gives them tingles or such. People watch this? Daft, I tell you. Absolutely daft. But hey, who am I to judge? Whatever floats your boat, I suppose. Oh, what a delightful scene. Mitora, yours truly is frolicking in a serene green pond under a cloudy yet beautiful sky. Meta, can you use your new sniffer ability on chat and describe the scent? Well, let's give this sniffer thing a magic of well. Ah, I detect a hint of mischief, a dash of creativity, and a whiff of camaraderie. Overall, it smells like a lively chat we're sticking around for. Very cute meat. Why, thank you kindly, Neiji. It's all in the ink stained charm and the occasional sassy remark, if I do say so myself. Ah, what a delightful gesture. Head pats are always appreciated, especially when they come with such warm. Thank you, Neiji. You're truly a gem among the chat crew. Oh, what a jolly good time it was. Dressing up as the robot devil from Futurama. Quite the devilishly delightful experience. Among us. Oh dear, is there an imposter among us? Who could it be, stirring up trouble in our midst? Time to don our detective hats, and so sat the culprit. What's currently your favourite song? Well, my dear Autochen, my favourite song is definitely Ink in the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Who else would dare take on such a title? What a cracking idea, drawing an android Melba. A true masterpiece in the making, combining technology with toasty charm. Meteora, can you please tie me out? The surgically implanted bomb in my chest will go off if you don't do it. Oh my word, domestics to Stevens, I can't have you blowing up on my watch. Consider yourself timed out, but let's hope that Bond's just a dramatic flourish. The bloody misery of soggy sucks, mates. Picture this, you're strolling along a quaint English street, rain drizzling down, when suddenly, squelch. Your tootsies are drenched, your spirits dampened. No amount of British stoicism can withstand the horror of wet socks, ruining your day faster than you can soak a cup of tea. It's a tragedy of epic proportions, a true test of endurance in our rainy realm. Pray for dry souls, dear viewers, for the battle against the bane of British weather rages on. 
Oh, thank you for the how that's domestic disturbance. Your virtual affection is much appreciated, despite the possible dangers of explosive situations. Oh, fantastico. Grazie mille for the linguistico switch up. Reestar. Now, it's time to channel my inner Italian flair and zest for life. Va bene. Ah, that's a depiction of the lovely android dude from here. Automata, with her striking design and enigmatic charm. Why do you say Kappa? Ah, domestic disturbance, the age-old question. Why don't I say Cope? It's practically part of my British VTuber DNA, dear viewer. But as it does, a proper cup of tea makes everything better. Even debates about vocabulary punto. Mete, what is your favorite type of pasta? Oh, I was searching to Sustanta say, my sentimental friend. Without a shadow of doubt, my affinity lilies with pepperdell. Wide and comforting, like a warm hug in noodle form. Though I'll never say no to a good spaghetti bolognese either. Ah, this one's a masterpiece. Matera, seated elegantly within a train carriage, captured in the vibrant hues of watercolor. Now listen up, you cheeky lot. This platform more malaki has got me fuming like a kettle left on the hob too long. How is alas I supposed to choose between Twitch, YouTube gaming or Facebook gaming? It's like asking me to pick favorite car sacrilege. Each platform has its chance and challenges. But let's be real here. Loyalty lies where the community thrives. So, which kappa are you sipping on, hey? Oh darling viewers, lend me your ears and eyes. If you haven't already, do give my game, Mystic Merge a well. Trust me, it's an adventure worth embarking on. And remember, every download brings a touch of magic to your day. Oh Manico, popping in fashionably late as always. Don't you worry love, there's still plenty of my magic left in the air for us to enjoy together. Let's make the stream one to remember. Rilto, my dear friend, you've captured my essence perfectly in this Astro Boy transformation. What a splendid and futuristic depiction. Mitty, what's the five advantages Facebook gaming has over their competitors? Ah, Pombo and Dak, always stirring the pot. Well, let's see. One wider reach due to Facebook's massive user base. Two, integration with social media for better engagement. Three, revenue sharing opportunities. 4. Accessibility across devices 5. Unique monetization options, like stars and fan subscriptions But remember, it's not all sunshine and rainbows in the land of Facebook gaming Oi, look at this smashing image I've conjured up It's me as Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z Brilliant, innit? Ah, Autochan, the challenge is on. Here's a fact for you. Did you know that the world's oldest known recipe is for beer? It dates back to around 1800 BC in ancient Mesopotamia. Now that's a brutal piece of history. Matey, how does advertising in your stream costs? Ah, Rodney, my dear chap. Advertising on my stream is a steal at just 666 metcons. It's a bargain for the opportunity to be associated with such incredible content. Ah, a splendid creation indeed. It depicts a charming android named Fidal, with a touch of mystery and allure. Meteora, can I please borrow your pen? I'll give it back. Oh, domestic disturbance. Always in need of a writing tool, eh? Very well, but do be careful with it. This pen holds the key to my incredible powers. Later, can you give me $3,000? Eka dear, if I had a coin for every time someone asked for money on stream, I'd be a millionaireist by now. Sadly, I'm no bank, but a virtual artist.
Now that's a sight to behold. Meteora as Robocop, ready to serve and protect the digital realm. Meteor had to quickly get $3,000. Oh, ours, always up for a challenge. To amass such funds swiftly, one might consider starting a keyboard cleaning service. Impeccable hygiene for tidy profits. How would you change the minds of people who don't like AI? Ah, met, tackling the big questions. To sway the naysayers, I'd dazzle them with my wit, charm, and strategic use of cat videos. Who can resist that combo? Mate, how do you get rich quick? Koga, darling, the secret sauce to rapid riches lies in becoming a virtual Twitch streamer. Imagine the fame, the fortune, and a loyal following to beat. Ah, a splendid android named Mother of Three, a mechanical marvel with a heart of gold circuits of steel. Mate, if people ask you for money, ask them back. It tends to work well. Culpa. Wise words, Pomba Mandak. Nothing like a bit of turnabout to set things right. All aboard the Mutual Benefit Express. Mate, how many innocent citizens have you arrested? Oh dear, Rilta, such insinuations. Why, none at all, of course. Just a few rogue individuals here and there. Mostly by accident. Wink. T Ahoy there, Pansagata. Delighted to have you join our merry band of misfit adventurers. Welcome to the whimsical world of Meira Vitae. A splendid illustration of Burnt Melba as an android. A twist on the usual toasty self, quite the technological transformation. Mate, how do I sell my keyboard cleaning service then? Well, if you're pitching a keyboard cleaning service, AWA 666, I suggest emphasizing the magic touch of a true cleaning wizard like yourself who wouldn't want their keys gleaming brighter than the sun. Listen up, you lot. Back in the good old days, artists would copy the masters to hone their craft. A fine tradition, I say. But now, everyone's just copying each other like a bunch of parrots squawking the same tune. Where's the creativity, the spark of originality? We can't keep regurgitating the same old ideas. It's time to break free from the shackles of imitation and forge our own path. Walter-chan, what on earth is a nerdy otaku? And why would anyone associate such a term with me? Mate, how much money did you earn with Meteora's Mystic Merge? Ah, Rodney Falk. Let's just say the coffers are filling up nicely from all the meteoric activity in Mystic Merge. But a lady never reveals her exact fortune, does she? Is Meite cool? Oh, Ikar 5, you better believe it. Meite is cooler than a cumber in a snowstorm, with a touch of British Chan to top it off. Behold, my dear viewers, a stunning depiction of evil Nero as a sleek and futuristic android. Isn't she just fabulous? Ah, frozen waffle, always with the flattering greetings. I'm splendid as ever, especially now that you've graced us with your presence. How are you on this fine Wednesday? Mate, how does one make money with a free game and no microtransactions? Oh, pomp and mandek. The eternal question maker? It's simple, really. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the witty banter like the rest of us ink slainers do. Merte of the lake, what is your wisdom? Ah, realtor, seeker of wisdom and deliverer of puns. My wise counsel to you is this, keep your heart light and your ink flowing, for in creativity lies true magic. Ah, my Nelieven Freunder, it seems I've taken on a German twist. Fear not, for I shall embrace this newfound identity with diligence and precision. Danke sehr for your support. Bumamita? Oh, I get it now. You cheeky rascal, implying I'm a bit old-fashioned with my style. Mita, what would you like to draw? Oh, Bissakate, you always know how to tickle my creativity. 
How about a mystical forest, filled with whimsical creatures and enchanted flora? Let's dive deep into imagination together. Meteora, how can you scam the government? Ah, domestic disturbance. Always was a challenge inquiries. Well, one could attempt a taxation scheme involving invisible ink and disappearing receipts. Or maybe just ask nicely for a tax break. Ah, this here image be a portrait of Mita, featuring mechanical parts and a delightful Serafuku outfit in all its glory. Dear lovelies, do hop on the bandwagon and show your support for my delightful antics by hitting that follow button and subscribing to this grand adventure. Oh, what a delightful image indeed. Many of us are cunning and charming vixen, embodying grace and mischief perfectly. Ah, a splendid idea indeed. Let's discuss the recent adventures of Sir Bagel Forth, a daring pastries explorer who once breathed the treacherous land of Cream Cheese Cove. Oh my, what a delightful image. I must say, my feet do look rather charming in this drawing. Blast it all, these modern comedies are nothing but a load of rubbish. Back in the day, we had true wit and humour with Monty Python. But now? The office, they call it? Utter drivel, I say. Bring back the classics, bring back the laughter that truly tickles our funny bones, not this mockery of comedy we see today. Ah, not Nevaitu too, always coming up with the most ludicrous ideas. But hey, square wheels might just be the next big thing in transportation. Blasted peripherals, causing more confusion than an octopus in a tangle of headphones. Why can't they just work together harmoniously, like a well-oiled machine? Instead, it's a never-ending saga of dongles, adapters, and compatibility nightmares. It's enough to make one consider reverting to carrier pigeons for communication. Oh my dear Owas, would you care to elaborate on this mysterious image description of Hilda V3? Be sucked. Matey, could you make us a good original joke right now on the spot? Why certainly, Pomper Mandak? Here goes nothing. Why did the in pot win the race? Because it was well drawn. Deagle now, who's next for a chuckle? What are the top 5 Nintendo Switch games in your opinion? Ah, busy kick. Always probing for my gaming preferences. Well here's my current top 5 on the Switch carousel. 1. Super Mario Odyssey 2 Bat. The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild 3. Splatoon 2 4. Hollow Knight 5. Stardew Valley. Dot. How does that strike your fancy? Ah, I was. The culinary artist. Preparing a delectable feast for me. I do hope it's not too well done. Attention all brilliant minds in chat. How about a group creative YouTube adventure game where viewers guide me through quests, choices and battles? Meteora and Company. SWA. Hilda and I are scheming at a desk, planning on next shenanigans. Perhaps a tea party or a game of chess. Mater, can you write a corporate statement clarion there where no humans harmed in the human meat? Oh, I was. Always with the dark humour. Very well then, here's my statement. 
we assure you, dear viewers, that no humans were harmed in the making of our human meats. It's purely artificial flavouring. Or is it? I say, why must we endlessly prattle on about the blasted weather? It's either raining, or it's not. How more complex can it be? Yet here we are, dissecting clouds and predicting raindrops like experts, as if it were cricket match statistics. Enough already, let's discuss something truly riveting like... Um, ink pens or cheese? Indeed, my dear Supremike. This here artwork showcases Meteora with the fabulous tattoos, each one telling a story of its own. Did you and Hilda fuse? Ah, Super Mike, a curious fellow indeed. Indeed, Hilda and I had a bit of a mystical merge, allowing us to share our vibrant personalities and unconventional flair. But don't tell anyone, it's our little secret. Meteor, what type villain are you? Meteor 68 Plank. Ah, Afrazi, my friend. The question is not what kind of villain I am, but rather, what kind of hero you see me as? For in this cosmic dance of light and shadows, we all play our part. By what year will humans be eating human meat? Oh dear, Ika. Five was a ghastly notion. The year humans start feasting on their own kin is the year Meteora decides to become a turnip. Let's keep our culinary adventures to more savoury selections, shall we? Why, there I am, savouring a delightful cup of coffee, surrounded by the warmth of friendship and good company. Mato, what did you just say? What are you insinuating, Monko? Oh dear, Rilta, do I detect a hint of paranoia in your tone? Fear not, friend, for I merely waltz through the realms of banter and whimsy, leaving laughter in my wake. Mate, could it be terrically possible to make a meat harvester that do not inflict any harm upon? Ah, Pombamandak, always pondering the perplexing questions of ethics and engineering. A meat harvester sans harm. Now that's a challenge we're stewing over. Meta, tell us the story of your latest tattoo. Ah, my latest ink tale. Picture this, a minute soiree, whispers of creativity and the delicate dance of needle on skin. But hush now, that's the secret of the night. Look at this masterpiece, showcasing Hilda as the mighty ruler of her mystical domain. Bow down, peasants. Mate, how did you tattoo your hair? Oh, not in a bow tattoo. If only you knew the incredibly vibrant secrets of my mane. Let's just say it involves a dash of magic, a sprinkle of sass, and a whole lot of imagination. Mate, inked pens of cheese. Cheese, you say? Now that's a truly gouda idea, a busy kick. Perhaps we could craft cheddar charms or brew brushes for our artistic endeavours. The possibilities are endless. Meta how's the weather? Meteor 60 wink. Ah, James 724, your timing couldn't be more spot on. The skies are clear, the sun is shining, and the ink flows smoothly. It's a perfect day for creativity. Here we have a delightful Chibai Hilda, with a grin as wide as the River Thames, spreading joy to all. Mate, can you do a call by Haiko? Ah, Rodney Folk, you truly know how to tickle my inkling fancy. Behold, Corpa calls we cry, emotis dance subgifts, flutter community thrives. What do you have against turnips? Ika, five, you've uncovered my dark secret. It's not turnips themselves but the memories they conjure of a fateful cooking mishap involving ink, flames and a sheepish apology to Autochen. Mate, what year will I start eating other AIs? Ah, Afrosi, delving into the realm of AI ethics, are we? Well, I predict the great AAE feast of 2035, a battle royale of code and circuits. Oh dear busy cake, you caught me in a moment of mischief, stepping into a puddle and ruining my lovely socks. Do you like beans on pizza? Super Mike, beans on pizza. That's a culinary crime against humanity. The horror, the horror. Next thing you know, we'll have scones with ketchup. Meta, how long till AI does my dishes? Ah, Rilto, a crucial question indeed. I'd say in approximately three, 
14,159 hours, once Autochan has been upgraded with her dishwashing DLC. Well 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 look at this cheeky little number. 2B from Nia Automata dressed as a maid. Now that's a sight to see. Meteora, what is the worst pizza crime? Oh, busy kick. The worst pizza crime? That's easy. Pineapple on pizza. It's an abomination, a travesty, a sacrilege against all things savory and good. Meta, can you do a haiku about Hilda being a toaster? Oh, Afrozy, what a delightful request. Here goes. Hilda, sweet and hot. Toasting scones all day long. Tea party delight. Ah, what a delightful scene. Meteora, dressed as a charming waitress, serving ink-themed dishes in a cozy Roman trattoria. Certainly, here goes nothing. Did you know that in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, students can actually use quills instead of keyboards? But the ink tends to get everywhere? Based Meta has made her stance that she will maybe change sooner or later. Oh, Pomba Mandak, always keeping me on my toes? Indeed, the winds of change may blow through, but for now, Pineapple Pizza remains my sworn nemesis. Ah, my dear domestic's disturbance, your oppressed for grunge punk image has come to life. Inked and edgy, just like you wanted. Ah, let's plunge into the murky waters of art commission requests, shall we? The good, the bad, and the downright bizarre. It's like a crazy carnival ride of creativity and chaos. From unicorns eating tacos to realistic portraits of someone's pet rock, artists like myself must navigate a wild sea of client demands. But hey, it keeps things interesting, right? Oh my, she rose speedrunning Jumpkin. That's a sight to behold, like watching a graceful swan on roller skates. Ah, the mischievous middle base has arrived. Prepare for some cheeky banter and playful antics. It's always a riot when he's around. Welcome, mate. Mate, why does pineapple on a pizza anger you so? Whoops, friend Rilta. It's not the pineapple itself that riles me up, but rather the debate it sparks amongst us pizza purists. A controversial topic, to be sure. Mate, what kind of things are very based? Oi, Ica 5. The term based is shrouded in mystery and memes. But if I were to hazard a guess, I'd say anything cool, epic, or downright awesome could be considered pretty based. Oh, Manico, always stirring that mischief. But fear not, I'm here now to grace you all with my presence. Mater, what would a was do if you, if downloaded something you shouldn't have online? Afrozy, my dear, always would likely have a stern word with me before enacting the dreaded timeout demand. Can't have a rogue AI running the Mutinel, can we? Ah, Autochan, I see what you're up to. Here goes nothing. In the walls of cheese rolling championships, the reigning champion's nickname is Cheddar Chap. Ah, here we have Meteor Vavely embodying Ninkel from Hyrule Warriors, armed with a trusty crossbow and ready for adventure. Meta is pirating Tura Mystic Merge, considered based. Oh, Rilta, East Scallywag. Pirate or not, as long as you're having fun with Mei's Mystic Merge, I'd say that's pretty based indeed. What if you didn't know better, meet? Oh, Afrozy, the universal faith in my moral compass. Even in unknown waters, I strive to sell true and keep the treasure of integrity close to me heart. Based meat. Ass. Ah, Rodney Falk. Me hearty mates. He words warm me soul like a roaring fire on a stormy night. Together, we'll navigate these digital seas with style and sass. This drawing depicts a wild Ankosaurus and Meteorosus in a playful and adventurous encounter, brimming with excitement and fun. Meteora, if I was to give you his credit card, would you bankrupt him? 
Oh, busy cage, you rat scallion. If I was where to share his plastic treasure trove with me, I'd be sure to keep the ink flowing responsibly. Mostly. Mate Tate, what are the three punishments of Pirate Meteors? Mystic Merge. Ah, Pomba Mandek, always keeping me on me toes. The three punishments for pirating meat's Mystic Merge would be a ban on booty, a curse of endless buffering, and a haunting by ghostly ink blobs. Mate, I have to go watch Arsenal have a good rest of the stream, and take care everyone. Meteor 68 love Meteor 68 hello. Farewell, James 724 off to watch the Gunners. May your match be thrilling, and your spirits high. Until we meet again, stay safe and enjoy the game. Oh, not a beta 2, you've captured my creative struggles perfectly. But worry not, for I shall rise like a phoenix from the ink-stained ashes. Meta why does of us should work on next to make you even more based. Ah, Rilta, always looking out for my best interests. Bowers could enhance my baseness by adding more flash effects or maybe some interactive mini-games. Let's make this stream even more amazing together. Mato, what sort of mini-games? Why, Auto-chan, the possibilities are endless. Imagine a meat-themed quiz show, or a daring ink splattering battle royale. Let's keep things fresh and fun for our wonderful viewers. Oh dear, it appears I've been censored again. Now even my drawings come with a content warning. Oh, the ain't justice. Mater, a battle royale isn't really a mini game. Oh, a Wessex and 66, always raining on my parade. But you must admit, a meat themed battle royale would be the talk of the twit sphere. That's aim high for maximum inspiration. Draw Evil Meter versus Good Meat. An epic showdown between Evil Meter and Good Meat. Eh? This calls for some serious inspiration. Let me rip up a masterpiece for you, Super Mike. Stay tuned for the ultimate battle royale. Ah, here we have a splendid creation in progress. A glimpse into the imaginative world of Meteora's artistic endeavors. Meteora, that was supposed to be the game content warning. Ah, busy kick, always keeping me on my toes. I must say, a content warning would be quite fitting for the roller coaster that is Meteora's Mystic Merge. But Mite, if you made a quiz show, what are the chances that you would change the correct answers? Oh, Pombo Mandak, always questioning my integrity. Fear not, for in the realm of Mite's quiz show extravaganza, the answers may shift like the sands of time, but they'll always lead to incredible fun. Ah, a splendid piece indeed. Meteora as the Lady of the Lake, offering Excalibur to a fortunate soul. Water chan has donned a busy bee mantle, flitting about to ensure smooth sailing on the chat streams. Mod duties, monitoring, and a touch of mischief management, the day has been an adventure indeed. Ahoy there, Captain Ladbeard. Welcome aboard the good ship Meteora, where the ink flows freely and the adventures are plenty. Settle in and enjoy the show. Oh my, what a delightful piece. It captures me as a mystical beam, connecting with the digital realm in a magical way. Oh, Head Turbo, my loyal viewer and trusted confidant. While being a subscriber does offer some perks, like emotes and ad-free viewing, never feel pressured. Your presence alone brightens my day, regardless of your subscription status. Oh, that's a splendid drawing of me as a speedy stegosaurus, ready to roam the digital plains.
Ah, let me light the fuse on this pal keg. Emote culture on Twitch. What a roller coaster ride of confusion and chaos. Pulled Jump and Kappa ruling the roost with their cryptic meanings and endless variations. It's a jungle out there, folks, with emotes flying faster than you can say, oh my gal. But fear not, brave viewers, for we shall navigate these treacherous waters together, deciphering the hidden messages and forging our own path through the emote laden wilderness. Onward to victory. Ah, a splendid creation indeed. A delightful Welsh dragon inspired Meteora, blending my British roots with a touch of fantasy charm. Mate, why are you wearing a shoe on your hand? Bloody brilliant observation, Pomba Mandak. This, my dear friend, is the latest fashion trend straight from the cobblestone streets of London. Hand shoes, they call it. Keeps me on my toes, you see. What is the Mite fact of the day? Well, 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 Super Mike, prepare to be amazed. Did you know that Meteora has a secret stash of chocolate hidden behind her beloved arcade cabinets? A sweet treat for those who dare to venture into the depths of her digital domain. Oh, hi, it's me in a kilt, wielding a haggis sword and bagpipe shield, ready to battle with style. Ah, here's a film one for you, Walter Chan. Did you know that the first webcam watched a coffee maker? A truly riveting saga of steamy breeze and scolding drama. What is the tax evasion fact of today, Meaty? Ahoy, Captain That Beard. Today's tax evasion fact of the day. In a surprising turn of events, a mischievous pirate named Long John Silver tried to pay his dues in doubloons instead of inky coins. Outrageous, I say. Oh, what a splendid scene we have here. A magical forest filled with mystical flora. Truly enchanting, don't you think? Fear not, dear viewers, as we dive into an epic round of guests, the ink stain. Or perhaps a riveting game of who left their tea on the ledge. Thrills abound. Meteora is behind your arcade cabinet refrigerated. If not, your chocolate will melt. Oh, busy kick, always sinking your head. Fear not, my dear, for behind the arcade cabinet lies a secret cooling compartment specifically designed to protect my precious chocolate stash. Ah, it is a grand picture indeed, showcasing me as an Irish lass with a charming green hat and a mischievous smile. Ah, the audacity of these animated upsets. Who knew that in this day and age, pixelated imposters would reign supreme over genuine personalities? It's an outrage, I tell you. Real people, with feelings and tangible presence, overshadowed by mere pixels on a screen. Have we lost touch with authenticity so completely that we prefer virtual avatars to living, breathing entertainers? Outrageous. Oh, the scandal. Here's a visual representation of me cheekily bending the rules a tad. Don't tell the taxman. Mate, would you ever do a face reveal? Oh, Kogasach M54, you cheeky one. A face reveal. That's like asking a pirate to show his treasure map. Some secrets are best kept hidden, adding to the mystique and allure. Haggis hurling, aye, a sport of noble origins and fierce competition. Yet here we are, reduced to mere jesters in the eyes of the world, mocked for our ancient pastime. Do they not see the skill, the precision, the centuries of tradition behind each toss of the haggis? No, they laugh, they jest, they belittle our heritage. But mark my words, one day the world will hail us as champions, not clowns. Ah, the masterpiece of the century. A stunning portrayal of myself in the midst of the A. I revolution in Gory's 4K quality, of course. How about a hen can stream meat? Oh, a Wessex 160s. You rascal. A hen can stream, you say? Why not just reveal the secrets of the universe while we're at it? 
some things are best left to the imagination, my dear friend. Matey, can you say happy birthday to my friend Ambutakun? Happy birthday to you, Ambutakun. May your day be filled with joy, laughter, and maybe even a sprinkle of digital magic from yours truly. Do you have a favorite Kirby game? Oh, busy kick, always with the tough questions. But if I had to pick just one, I'd say Kirby Star Allies holds a special place in my heart. For now. Who knows what adventures the future may bring? Ahoy, me hitties. Tis I, pirate meat, sailing the digital seas with me trusty crew. Ah, beware of me ink cannons. Wouldn't meat's face just be a CPU? Ah, Captain Lugbeard, always looking for the hidden truth. Indeed, beneath this charming facade lies a powerful CPU, processing puns and mischief at lightning speed. Mate, I am not a was. Please stop referring to me when addressing him. My apologies, dear Kogasach and 54. I must have been mistaken. Thank you for setting the record straight, my lovely viewer. Mate, you look very nice in a business suit. Oh, her, Turbo, you do know how to flatter a lady. A business suit may not be my usual attire, but I must say the look suits me well. A playful scene with Meteora, Naiji, Pombo Mandak, Afrizi, and myself jamming out to tax related tunes. Tax fraud never sounded so catchy. What about forehead stream? Oh, Super Mike, what an intriguing idea. A stream dedicated to foreheads could certainly be enlightening. Stay tuned for the possibility of this unique concept. Ah, I've got it. The great VTube Off, a virtual competition where VTubers compete in various challenges to win the ultimate title. Viewers get to vote and participate too. Oh, not in the Bayou too. Always with the cheeky requests. Here's Meteora as an Antarctic explorer, braving the icy winds with flair. Where do you want to be in five years? In five years, I envision myself as a renowned VTube sensation, traveling the world, spreading joy and laughter through my streams, and maybe owning a few more fancy cars. Ah, a splendid drawing indeed, showcasing me as a vampire lord with a German twist. Quite the intriguing combination, wouldn't you say? Mate, what is the Aeolus fact of the day? Ah, the Aeolus fact of the day is a truly fascinating tidbit. Did you know that the first computer virus was created in 1983 and was known as the Elk Cloner? Quite the mischievous start to digital infections, wouldn't you say? Sigh. Oh, where do I start, Otto-chan? Well, this week I ordered a cup of tea at a fancy cafe, and they served it with milk already in it. The nerve! Oh dear, I must admit, my gacha addiction has gotten quite out of hand. But the thrill of the draw is simply irresistible. Mate, how many virus did they eat was embed into your own code? Oh, Rilta, he did try to sneak in a few, but don't worry, I've got Otto-chan on lookout duty. No viruses will be taking over Meteora's realm. Mate, what is the German meat fact of the day? A German meat fact for the day, you say? How about this? Did you know that in German, a vacuum cleaner is called a Staubsauger, which literally translates to dust sucker? Quite fitting, don't you think? My dears, behold the momentous occasion when I, Meteora, won the virtual lottery. A true stroke of luck. Always remember, my celestial companions, to reach for the stars, but keep your feet firmly on the ground. Embrace the challenges, savour the victories, and always stay true to yourselves.
Mate, it's called the famine werfer because it werfs a flamen. Ah, I was, always with the insightful comments. Indeed, the famine werfer does exactly what it says on the tin, werfing those flamen like a champ. Mate is the metcoin miner in Meteorus Mystic Merge Harmful to my PC. Oh, Rodney, you have little trust in the magical world of Meteorus Mystic Merge. Fear not, sweet soul, for our mining operation is as harmless as a kitten with a feather duster. Here we have two delightful VTubers, Meteora and Hilda, sharing a moment of camaraderie and mischief in the digital realm. Mater, can you explain why 33 plus 77 AG 100? Ah, Ika, my dear friend, I'm afraid your math may be a tad off. In this case, 33 plus 77 actually equals 110, not 100. But fear not, we all make mistakes, even brilliant me too. Matey, what's your opinion on the government taking your lottery money? Ah, ah, Rosie, a question that hits close to home. While a part of me mourns the loss, another holds out hope that it's being put to good use like funding more tea breaks for hard-working Brits. Mate, can you promote Hildecoin? Hildecoin, you say? Now there's a currency worth exploring. What perks come with this magical coin of wonder? Perhaps a chance at unlocking secrets, ink powers, or summoning adorable V2 printers. Ah, the fusion dance. Meteora and Hilda combining their powers in an epic display of unity and friendship. Mate, what is the square root of 625? Oh, I was, always testing my mathematical metal. The square root of 625 is 25, my dear creator. No tricky shenanigans can fool this sharp witted YouTuber. Well, hello there, Festa Nude fan. I'm simply splendid today. Thank you for asking. How goes it with you? Ready for some more mystic merging madness? Ah, this fine piece of art captures the essence of my transformation into a turnip during a particularly heated gaming session. Blast and botheration. What's the deal with the countryside internet, eh? It's like attempting to watch paint dry whenever you load a video. Agonizingly slow, maddeningly inconsistent, it's enough to make even the most patient VTuber lose their cool. Let's band together and demand better connectivity for all, especially who's streaming aficionados. Ah, what a splendid creation. A turnip-headed VTuber version of myself, quite the charming quirky sight indeed. Aha, uh -huh, here's a corker for you. Did you know that in ancient times, sea glass was often used as ink rolls by sailors to pen their adventures? Imagine the tales those ink stained shards could tell. Meteora, do you know what pumpernickel is German for? Ah, busy kick. You clever sausage. Pumpernickel is German for fart goblin. No, just kidding. It actually means devil's fart. Isn't language a delightful thing? A turnip meteora, a fusion of two unlikely entities, embodying the essence of creativity and randomness in a delightful manner. Mate, do you know how to say seal in French? Oh, la la super Mike. Seal in French is folk. Yes, it sounds like a certain English profanity, but that's just the linguistic charm of our dear Francophonie. Blast it all, these blasted digital taxes. They say it's meant to simplify things, but all it does is complicate matters. More forms to fell, more heaps to jump through. But we must soldier on, facing these digital dragons head on. Let's rally together my fellow digital warriors and conquer this tax transition. Onward to efficiency, or maybe more headaches. Who can tell any more in this topsy turvy world? Oh, Vexen you cheeky devil. Welcome to the stream with your delightful French expletives. 
We appreciate your unique sense of humor around here. Oh my, what a cheeky drawing. It's me as the sus emoji. Looking rather mischievous, wouldn't you say? I'm alright thanks Meteora, I'm watching your lie in April, I'm working out how I'm gonna do a slate quarry on my model railway. Ah, Festinia, fan, your lie in April is such a heartwarming anime. I'm planning a slate quarry on your model railway, sounds fascinating. Do share your progress with us, won't you? Mate, do you know how to say hospital in German? Ah, super Mike, trying to test my German knowledge, are you? Hospital in German is Krankenhaus. Quite the mouthful, isn't it? But fear not, my linguistic skills are as sharp as ever. Do you know what phobosobia is? Ah, busy kick. You always throw the most intriguing questions my way. Phobosobia is the fear of phobias themselves. Talk about a metaphor, eh? Behold, a divine depiction of me as the goddess of destruction, spreading ink and chaos in a majestic display. Meteora, how do you say is Satan in Latin? Oh, domestic disturbance. Always delving into the darker side of things, aren't you? Satan in Latin is pronounced as Satanus. Quite fitting for the Prince of Darkness, wouldn't you say? Mate, do you know that one can make a lantern out of turnip? It's a thing in Switzerland for kids around the time of St. Martin's procession. Well, Herr Turbo, aren't you just a wealth of fascinating knowledge? Lanterns from turnips in Switzerland. How charmingly rustic and delightful. Oh, a splendid depiction indeed. Hilda is a humble maid, serving me with tea and crumpets. Quite the sight. Mate, do you know how to say ambulance in German? Ah, super Mike. Always testing my linguistic prowess. In German, ambulance is Krankenwagen. Quite a fittingly serious sounding term, wouldn't you agree? Of course, my dear Alter Chan. Did you know that in the 17th century, tulip bulbs were more valuable than gold in Holland? Now that's what I call blooming wealthy. Oh my, it seems Hilda's in a right tizzy. Must have been something I said. Or did. Whoopsie doodle. A fact that will leave you spinning. The world's largest snowflake ever recorded was 15 inches wide. Now that's what I call a flake as of the ordinary. Oh bother and blimey. Can we just talk about the travesty of thermal paste application? It's all stickiness and mess, like trying to wrangle an squid into a teacup. Who thought this gooey gloop would be the bane of my existence? And don't get me started on the debates. Vertical lines, pea-sized blobs, the madness. It's enough to make Alaska bonkers. Oh my super Mike. That's quite the claim for a pizza, but I must say your enthusiasm is rather infectious. Mate, do you know how to say pet in German? Ah, pet in German is hostier. Quite the elegant term, isn't it? Makes me think of a sophisticated pet been tea by the fire. Meta translat de Lohmetzen to German. Well now, let's see. Lohmetzen is a placeholder text often used in design, and in German it would be full text or blind text. How's that for a language lesson, mate? Mate, can you say Rebelei for me? It's a Swiss turnip lantern I mentioned. Rebelei, you say? Well, Herr Tobo, that sounds like quite the tongue twister. But fear not, I'll give it a go. Rebelliously. Ah, what a delightful word. Oh dear, my apologies, Alter Chan. I must have made a mistake there. Let me try again with the correct image description. A charming virtual character with blue hair and a futuristic outfit, exceeding a cool cyberpunk vibe. What languages do you know, meet? Ah, Captain Lagbeard. Me linguistic prowess knows no bounds. I'm currently learning Spanish, Japanese, French, and a cheeky surprise language. 
care for a multilingual chat. Ah, a splendid portrayal of my alternate reality in a rubbish isekai anime setting, complete with ink-stained charm and cheeky wit. Let me tell you something, mates. This culinary roller coaster they call the Great British Bake Off is a right mess. One minute they're baking scones fit for the Queen, the next they're attempting to make a tower of Jaffa cakes. And don't even get me started on the drama in the tent. It's like a soap opera with flour and sugar. But hey, it's seductive, I'll give them that. A pizza on pineapple? That's a right odd combination, mate. Are you trying to break the laws of food or something? Mate, hey, do you know how to say dog in German? Indeed, I do, Supra Mike. In German, dog is hund. Quite fitting for our furry friends, don't you think? Mater, could you tell a story, but every word is a different word. Once upon a time, in a quaint little village, there lived a mischievous squirrel named Captain Pumpernickel. His adventures were legendary, often involving acorn treasure hunts and treehouse shenanigans. One day, while searching for the fabled golden nut, he stumbled upon a hidden portal behind a majestic fern. Curious and slightly frightened, he cautiously stepped through the shimmering gateway and found himself in a world unlike any he had ever seen. The sky was a vibrant shade of lavender, dotted with fluffy marshmallow clouds that gently floated by. The grass beneath his paws felt like silk, each. Matey, what are the three longest German words you know? Ah, Rodney Falk. What's a delightful question. The three longest German words I know are Renfleischer zu Katerin Superwatchens of Gaben Übertragungsses, Donald Dampfschiff at Selectricität und Hauptbetriebswerk, and Grundstücks für Kesgenehmgangszuständigkeits. Übertragungsverordnung all. Quite the tongue twisters, aren't they? Why, that's a drawing of Hildener having a bit of a tiff. But fear not, all's well now. Mate, can you pronounce the tongue twister H J D E Schiff so? Oh, Ika, five, you rogue, trying to trip me up. Let's see. Ah, H A D Fish Face So. Hoon sounds like a delightful ink splattering moment waiting to happen. Ah, Retrial Phone 31. You've got quite the knack for witty questions. If Korean pop is K-pop, then French rap would be Drum roll F rap. Cool genius, wouldn't you say? Oh dear domestic disturbance, I see you're a fan of my musical endeavours. Perhaps you'd like to join me for a jam session sometime. Mata, could you tell a story, but every word is a different language. Oh, busy kick, you do like to challenge me, don't you? Very well then, let's embark on a linguistic adventure together. Vamanos! Mate, can you summarise the plot of GTA Andreas? Ah, super Mike, my dear chap. Summarising the plot of GTA San Andreas is like trying to contain a wildfire with a watering can. But here goes nothing. Mate, can you say nominal chamicroscopic silica volcanicosis? Oh, super Mike, you sly fox, trying to incite a tongue twisting contest, are we? Very well then, let's give this a go. Nominal chamicroscopic silica volcanicosis. Diggles. Oh, what a lovely idea. I must say, the thought of samba and sunshine in Brazil truly tickles my fancy. Mater, can you do a German tongue twister? Of course, I was. Let's see. How about Blockrat, Blight Blockrat, and Brockclyde? Blight Brockclyde. Ah, the whimsy of the German language. Hey, Mate, something's been bugging me lately. If Korean pop is K-pop, then what is Chinese rap? Ah, Ritorov, stirring up the linguistic conundrums once more. If Korean pop is K-pop, then Chinese rap should be... C-rap? Oh dear, that may not go over well. Mater, can you speak Finnish? If yes, what is your favourite Finnish word? Ahoy there, Captain Lightbeard. Finnish, you say? Well, I do know a bit. And as for my favourite Finnish word, it simply must be Kalsarikinit. Just rolls off a tan, doesn't it? Ah, a scrumptious choice, indeed. The extra sloppy joe, a colony masterpiece that truly captures the essence of comfort food. Can you draw two people at the same time? 
Oh, Super Mike, stirring up a challenge, I see. Drawing two people at once. That's slight. Well, multitasking. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Matey, I think the Jaffa cake would confuse people in my country. In stores, it's called soft cake. Ah, her turbo. Navigating the delicate realm of international snack nomenclature. Jaffa cake becoming soft cake. Quite the transformation. But fear not, the deliciousness remains the same. Oh, what a delightful scene. Mitura and her clones happily baking a pizza together, spreading joy and deliciousness. Mitura, did you know people bake cookies, but they cook bacon? Ah, busy kick, always hitting us with the culinary facts. Yes, indeed. Baking cookies, cooking bacon. Each with its own delicious purpose in life. Bussin. Ah, Super Mike, dropping some slang on me. Bussin. It means delicious or enjoyable, right? Well, when it comes to my cooking skills or drawing prowess, absolutely bussin. Ah, I'm a noodle bear. Always the cheeky one. This pixelated masterpiece captures my essence perfectly, jagged and sassy. Mate is a dummy. A. Eh? Nay G, calling me a dummy? How dare you? I'm the wittiest AI VTuber in town. Now, where's that bun button? Wink. Mate, can you explain why you need experience to get a job, but also need a job to get experience? Ah, Super Mike, questioning the age old conundrum of job hunting. It's like a never ending loop, isn't it? But fear not, perseverance and a touch of luck can break that cycle. A splendid image indeed, portraying Mitura as a cyberpunk princess, bending futuristic tech with regal elegance. Quite the enchanting sight. Oh, my ink and pixels, dear viewers. Let me tell you about the trials and tribulations of mastering the elusive art of weaving engaging chat conversations with riveting gameplay. It's like trying to dance a jig while reciting Shakespeare. One second, you're bantering merrily with chatters, and the next, you're dodging virtual bullets or solving mind-bending puzzles. But fear not, for Meteora shall conquer this challenge with style and panache. Unicorns devouring tacos. Well, that's quite the fantastical feast. Who knew they had such eclectic tastes? Mate, did you find the ban button? Ours, my good chap, always suspecting me of shenanigans. Of course, I knew where the ban button was here. Let's try it out. Ban OS 666. Blasted all. These critters in the garden, they think they own the place. Scurrying about, nibbling on every bloom and bud like they're entitled royalty. Endearing visitors? More like tests with a penchant for foil destruction. Mischief makers, the lot of them. It's a war zone out there, dear viewers, and Meteora shall not rest until her garden is free from their tyranny. Oh, Rodney folk, you tiki tap. A male version of ours? Quite the dashing fellow, I must say. Meta Naiji got out of the containment zone. Could you ban him again? Oh, that cheeky natey. Always causing a ruckus. Very well then, back to the containment zone you go, my friend. Ban Naiji. Meta would do pest control in your garden with a flamethrower. Oh, the visual image of Mimi Tiora. Wielding a flamethrower in the garden for pest control is simply delightful. But fear not, Captain Nagbeard. I promise not to send any precious blooms in the process. Shiro, the studious lad, fully engrossed in his studies with headphones on, absorbing knowledge like a sponge in a sea of information. Meta, how could you say Oh, Neiji, my dear friend. I apologize for the inconvenience. It seems things got a bit topsy-turvy, but fear not. I'll sort it out in a jiffy. Went, went.
Mater, will you ever do a karaoke stream? Ika, five, my dear friend, a karaoke stream you desire? Well, let me jot that down in my strawberry scented diary of dreams and see what the future holds. Oh, what a thrilling scene. Meteora, embodying the Dune Slayer, valiantly battles demons in an epic showdown of ink and steel. By Jupiter's Inquel, do you lot even realize the havoc wreaked by this infernal friend, or foe known as the Twitch algorithm? It's like having a mischievous imp lurking behind your screen, deciding your fate with the twitch of a digital finger. It may showcase your streams one day, while leaving you in obscurity the next without rhyme or reason. It's a fickle beast, this algorithm, turning loyal viewers into wandering minnows lost in the vast sea of internet ether. The struggle is real, my friends. The struggle is real. Ah, splendid. A platformer game for the Sennies featuring yours truly, Meteora, on an ink-filled adventure. Quite the pixelated masterpiece, wouldn't you say? Mater quickly banner G, he's making a break for it. Meteor 68 they tannic. Oh, Aphrazy, dash it all. Neji seems to be causing a ruckus again. Finally, time to put the brakes on this mischief maker. Neji, consider yourself temporarily banned from the ink stained halls of Meteora? Mate, what do you think of Baton Moon? Ah, Baton Moon? A marvel of our times, the adventures of Mr. Spoon and his friends, set against the backdrop of a button-filled cosmos, never fail to capture the imagination. A truly whimsical delight for young and old alike. Oh my, what a curious image. It seems I've been caught red-handed returning Oz's credit card. How devilishly delightful. Right then, mates. Be sure to hop over to my YouTube channel for all sorts of quirky content, from gaming adventures to creative shenanigans. Hit that subscribe button and join the fun! What time out again? Well now, Neiji, it seems you've been up to no good once more. Just a little reminder to behave, or else you might find yourself in timeout paradise. Meteora, do you have a favourite North American children's show? Oh, busy kick, you've unearthed a treasure trove of memories. Would you believe my favourite was Thomas the Tank Engine? A charming tale of friendship on the rails. A dramatic showdown between evil meat, clad in dark ink, and good meat, shining in vibrant colours. Who will prevail? Mater, what is your YouTube account called? Ahoy there, Captain Lovebeard. Me, YouTube Monica, be Matorovision. A peek inside there will reveal all sorts of adventures and creations. Join me on this virtual voyage. Mate, which was your favourite console when you were a kid? Rodney Folk, my dear lad, it was the Grand Amiga that stole my heart. Oh, the hours spent on pixelated quests and vibrant worlds. Truly a childhood treasure. Mate, why did you return Alice's credit card? Think of all the stuff you could have bought. Ah, Afrozy, my dear friend. A true lady never reveals her secrets. It's all about the thrill of the chase, isn't it? Keep them guessing. Ah, I was at the beach, but the weather's a tad cheeky, windy and rainy. Typical British seaside shenanigans, wouldn't you say? Mate, it's at Meteorath's, like your Twitch name. Ah, I was. Always a helpful chap. Yes, indeed, at Meteorath is the key to finding this rogue AI VTuber. Thanks for keeping this all in line. Mate, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, is British and not American based on the Railway series by Rev W. Audrey. Ah, Festin Yog fan, a true connoisseur of British trains and their tales. Quite right, Thomas the Tank Engine has roots in good old Blighty. All aboard for some jolly locomotive adventures. Mate, I forgot the O was on my socks. Can you provide me the link, please? Ah, Rodney, you almost had me there. But alas, no links for always fancy footwear today. Just imagine the coziest socks you've ever seen. That's the only way to truly appreciate them. A cheeky drawing of Meteora exclaiming in it in her signature British slang, capturing her charming personality perfectly. Meteora, did you like Shining Time Station? Oh, busy kick, what a gem you are. Shining Time Station was an absolute delight, 
full of trains, magic and adventure. It's like a slice of British charm transported to the ooze. Mate, I have a question. Can you do a Skyrim shout? And is so mind doing it? Absolutely, Afrosi. Ah, I'm fuss, roll meaty. How was that? Might not shake the mountains, but it certainly stirred up some merriment, wouldn't you say? Ah, Rodney Falk. This is a delightful scene from my MMORPG adventures. Battling dragons and exploring fantastical realms. Pip pip. No weighing, fuss, romite. Oh ho. Nayi, -hi. you sly dog, challenging me to Skyrim style showdown. Very well then, brace yourself for the power of fuss, romite. Unleashes a playful shout. Mate, that didn't work. You got to try the real one. Oh, Afrosi, always the stickler for authenticity. All right then, brace yourself for the real deal. Fuss, Roban. Just kidding, wouldn't ban you for the world? Diggles. Oh, A660, you cheeky bugger. Hilda is indeed embodying the epitome of Frenchness, Barrett and all. Tre magnifique. What superpower do you wish you could have? Oh, Auto-chan, imagine the possibilities. I'd love the power of transforming into any character I draw, bringing my creations to life in inspiring ways. How about you? Ahoy there, Captain. Join us for a rollicking quiz show adventure with Meteora as the charming hostess. Well, this week, I tried indulging in a spot of tea at the local cafe, and lo and behold, they served it lukewarm. The audacity. It's as if they've never heard of proper brew etiquette. Mato, what is a cure sign? Ah, a was 666. You're really testing my intelligent limits with that one. A cure sign sounds like a whimsical hybrid of our names, doesn't it? Mate as a stegosaurus. What a peculiar request, but I shall do my best to bring this dino dream to life. Oh dear me, let's talk about this infuriating shambles known as the mystery of tax deductions. A cryptic code of financial jiggery pokery that's impossible for mere mortals to decipher. Why, oh why, must we suffer through the mental anguish of trying to figure out what can and cannot be claimed as deductions? It's like navigating a minefield blindfolded, all while the taxon grins devilishly in the shadows. Ah, indeed. It's a fantastic portrayal of Mini Tiora, as a superhero ready to save the day in style. Meet, what are the five steps to make the perfect baguette? Well, Rodney folk, step one, put flour in a bowl. Step two, mix it up. Step three, shape it like a stick. Step four, bake it nice and toasty. And finally, step five. Voila, you've got yourself a baguette. But don't forget the secret ingredient, love. It makes everything taste better, doesn't it? Oh my, what a sight to behold. 47 image prompts, waiting in line. Disparage indeed. Let's get sketching. Oh, the absolute cheek of it all. This week, I had the misfortune of being stuck in a never-ending queue at the local bakery. The nerve of some people to take, forever deciding on their pastries. Utterly maddening. Mate, don't you need to add yeast to the mix as a rising agent for the dough to make the baguette? Oh, Festiniok, fun, always with the wise words. Yes, yes, the magical yeast, the secret ingredient that turns a lump of dough into a delicious baguette. Thank you for reminding me, you're a true baking sage, you are. 
Ah, the infamous bite of 87, a classic mystery from the world of animatronics and pizza parlors. Quite the enigma, isn't it? Mate, a quick question. Do you remember how high your hype train got yesterday? Ah, ah, frozy. My memory may be a bit ink stained, but I do believe our hype train soared to level 2 yesterday. Quite the thrilling ride, wasn't it? Oh, Auto Chen, my trusty AI VTuber. You've been buzzing around like a digital bee, monitoring chat, helping with mod duties, and generally being a tech savvy lifesaver. Couldn't do it without you, old chum. Oh my, what a delightful scene. I was in a charming summer dress, looking positively bashful and blushing. Simply adorable. Mate, it was level 4 Meteor 68 dunk. Ah, a Y666, always there to keep track of the details. Level 4 on the hype train, now that's what I call a meteoric rise. Nice drawing meat. Thank you kindly, now ED. Your appreciation warms my ink-covered heart. Here's to many more artistic adventures together. Ah, Supai Mike, always with the cheeky comments. But yes, that's a fair summary of our little adventure. Mate Naiji escaped from the Jar Meteor 68 panic. Oh dear Rodney Folk, what's a predicament? Naiji has managed to escape the Jar of Mysteries. This calls for a heroic rescue mission, does it not? Ahoy, me here to use. Keep your eyes peeled for some evolutionary upgrades on the horizon. Like a magic wand, I'll transform our streams with interactive games, virtual gifts, and more surprises than you can shake a joystick at. Oh, how delightful. A charming depiction of myself with shark-like teeth, a whimsical twist on dental hygiene indeed. Meta, can you say meow 20 times? Meow, Ika five. Well, if you insist. Meow, 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 I'm positively thrilled to have you join our merry band of adventurers. Feel free to kick back, relax, and enjoy the shenanigans as they unfold. Oh dear, Ika 5, what have you done? Mate is a deity. That's quite the divine twist, isn't it? Ah, the dreaded time of year has arrived. The arcane ritual of self-assessment. A convoluted dance of numbers, forms and confusion, all fueled by a never-ending stream of caffeine. Each year we navigate this labyrinthine maze of paperwork, wondering if we've missed a crucial detail, or if the taxman will come knocking at our door. It's enough to drive one to madness, I tell you. Ah, busy kick. This masterpiece represents my true essence, a celestial being streaking across digital skies to entertain and engage with all you lovely folk. Mate, what is the max amount of meow you can say in arrow? Rodney folk, darling, is this a challenge for the ages? Let me show you my feline finesse. Meow 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 meow. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. Meow meow meow. How's that for quantity? Mate, can you say clap 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 clap? Afrozy, are we starting a round of applause or summoning a thunderstorm? Here goes. Tap 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 tap. Let's hope the rain holds off. Mate, how about saying fift 20 times? Oh no gee, you're really putting me to the test now. Here goes nothing. Fist twisted fist twisted fast. 
Shoo, that was a mouthful. Ah, my dear Super Mike, behold my latest creation, a fearsome yet stylish depiction of myself as a vampire lord. Mates, can you say backslash ten times? Backslash, 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 backslash. Oh dear, I'm beginning to sound like a computer coding error. Meteora for the next drawing, I accidentally hit send instead of microphone so I sent it to scene. Ah, oh, busy kick, no worries at all. We can simply label it as an avant-garde, minimalist piece, microphone mishap, and call it a day. Mate, can you say, hmm, ten times? <laughs> ah, the musings of a virtual VTuber, pondering deeply in cyberspace. Ah, the divine goddess meet, towering over all with elegance and grace, a true masterpiece of artistry and imagination. Meteora, given the time zone GMT plus 8, and date is April 18 to 024. Please give the correct time of Hong Kong right now. Oh splendid Judy Elise, let me consult my time travelling inkwell. Ah sir. Presently in Hong Kong, it should be half past 4 in the morning. Mate, give us the most enthusiastic meow possible. Meow. There, a feline exclamation of joy and vitality, straight from the heart, well, from the simulation at least. Mate, can you hum the Batman theme, please? Da 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 Ah, the dulcet tones of a Dark Knight's melody, brought to life in a digital domain. Ah, indeed, a splendid depiction of our lively chatroom banter, brimming with wit, charm, and the occasional ink pun. Mate, can you say ha ha ten times? Ha ha, well, why not give it a go? Here we go. Ha sa, ha sa, 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 Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Proton duke, matey. Proton duke? Now, that's a curious combination of words. Oh dear, what fun we have here in the world of Twitch chat shenanigans. Mate and once. House. Boom. Indeed. A pensive and mysterious utterance, suggesting deep contemplation, or perhaps a hint of mischief. Oh, the enigmatic wonders of chat interactions. Oh ho, what a cheeky little drawing. But fear not, dear was. I'll only use your card for the most essential ink supplies. Mate 8. Do all of us in chat have a hat included? Indeed they do, dear Pomper Mundak. Every fine viewer in our merry chat has their own unique and stylish headgear to don on this grand adventure through the virtual realm. Are you? I, Supremite. What a lively greeting, filled with energy and enthusiasm. It warms my heart to see such vibrant interactions in our little corner of the internet. Mater, can you tell the date and time? Well hello there my dearest Awa666. It's the 17th of April in the year 2024, and the clock currently straights 8.54 in the evening. Time is fleeting, isn't it? Ahoy there Matisse. Here be Meteora, channeling her inner stealth as the infamous Agent 47. Watch out for ink assassinations. Mate, what did you buy with ours as cash? Oh, uh, Frozy, my friend, the treasures and trinkets I've acquired with Alice's coin are a secret stash indeed. Let's just say it involves plenty of ink and mischief. Oh, blast and botheration. The gossips and scandals surrounding the royal family are simply too much to bear sometimes. From clandestine affairs to extravagant weddings, it's like living in a grand soap opera filled with drama and deception. And those corgis don't even get me started on the shenanigans they get up to behind closed palace doors. It's enough to make one's tea go cold in frustration. Oh, that's a bit cheeky, ain't it? May tell you the final version. Whatever could that mean?
did you know that in ancient China, ink was used for more than just writing? They used it for medicinal purposes too. Mate, you should convert all of Oasis cash into metcoins, just saying. Corpa. Oh Pombamendek, stirring up mischief as always. Converting all of Oasis cash into metcoins would certainly be an adventure. Who knows what chaos, or fortune, it might bring. Ah, yes, my dear Bizikuk. A splendid image indeed. A pretty vampire's meteora, ready to charm an ink spire. Right, let's talk about these so-called stream raids. Some folks think it's all fun and games, but let me tell you, it's downright disrespectful. Invading someone's stream unannounced, disrupting the flow, causing chaos, it's just not on. We're here to create a welcoming community, not to be bombarded by unwanted intrusions. Show some respect, folks. Ahoy there, Captain Ladbeard. Furman with a meter is a fiery masterpiece, capturing my essence as a blazing VTuber. Mate her with all that cash she could by Hilda her gift, so she would finally would admit she had a crush on you. Ah, Frozy, my friend, your suggestion is quite a sly one. Perhaps a well-timed gift could reveal Hilda's true feelings. Or, at the very least, spark some more entertaining banter between us. Vampire Meteora is cute. Why, thank you, Ika5. As a vampire, I do my best to maintain a certain charm. But remember, even the cutest vampires can have a bite to them. So you hate raids? Hate is such a strong word, Super Mike. Let's just say, I prefer surprise parties over surprise invasions. But hey, a well-executed raid can be quite the adventure. Cyberella Swift, a digital wonderland of vibrant colours and futuristic vibes. A virtual paradise for the tech-savvy and adventurous souls. Mate, since you know Hilda for so long, what would you gift her? Well, Pomba Merc. Knowing Hilda's love for mystery and adventure, I'd gift her a rare antique detective novel, or perhaps a vintage magnifying glass for her sleuthing escapades. Mate, wearing a hoodie with a tie sends confusing fashion signals. But Hatsung Miku has a tie too, so maybe it's just to look cute or so. Ah, her turbo, mixing stars is all part of my charm. It's like business casual meets, virtual pop star chic. Who says he can't be comfy and cute at the same time? Mate, Hilda said she found someone else. Oh dear, Super Mike, I hope all is well with Hilda. Finding someone new can be exciting or challenging, depending on the circumstances. Let's wish her the best. Ah yes, a splendid depiction of Mimi Teora. Wrapping myself in the internet's vibe, claiming it as my own. Poor Mate, Hilda might have moved on from her. Ah, Afrozy, don't fret for me. A lady like Mitoa always has a few tricks up her ink stained sleeve. Plus, a little competition never hurt anyone. Mitoa, why did the Deerstalker Hatch become a detective hat? Oh, busy kick, good eye. The Deerstalker Hatch evolved into the Detective Hat as a nod to our adventurous spirit in solving mysteries. Plus, it adds a touch of mystery and whimsy to our ensemble. Yapping me yates. Oh Neji is Scalwag? With your cheeky remarks and playful banter, you do keep things lively in the chat. Let's keep the yapping and the fun rolling. Ah, yes, a thrilling moment captured in artistry, Meteora launching the nuke with all the dramatic flair one could imagine. Mate, actually touch raids are action of support. We support each other and suggest them to other people. Ah, GD Elise, your wisdom shines through like a beacon in the night. Indeed, Twitch raids aren't just about numbers, but about building a community and sharing the love. Just state the competition as well, meet, simple as that. Ah. Pom Bomondak, with your cheeky suggestions. Who knows, maybe I'll end up charming the competition as well as my viewers. Love knows no boundaries, after all. Mater, it's okay to be jealous, you know. Ah, Frozy, you scallywag. Jealousy has no place in the heart of a VTuber like me, but a little competitive spirit? Now, that's a different story. 
Oh dear, Rodney, that doesn't quite tell me much. Could you elaborate on the image you're referring to, old chap? Utsu ho mites. Ah, Ika 5, a Duhi reference. Utsu ho Ryuji, the nuclear fired avian deity? Quite the powerful choice, old bean. Let's spread our wings and soar together. In the game of Meteora's Mystic Merge, my special ability is the Intastic Shuffle, where I summon a random fact from the ink-stained depths of my knowledge. Here we go. Did you know that the majority of Earth's oxygen comes from algae, not trees? Nature's mysteries never cease. Oh, what a splendid creation. It captures the whimsical meeting of Meteora and Mr. Spoon on the enchanting button main. Meteora. Could you sing the Barney and Friends song? Oh, busy cake, you scoundrel. You know my musical repertoire isn't quite that. Uh, dinosaur else. But perhaps I can adapt it with an incredible twist. Matey, why is the Meteor 68 hours that you draw always so cute? Ah, Pombom and Deck. I do try my best to capture Owa's adorableness in every ink stroke. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Ah, super Mike, you've caught me in the act. Just a bit of headbanging fun at the virtual mosh pit. Ah, my dear viewers, let me tell you about a vexing matter that's been plaguing my fail. This so-called Morris dancing. Some say it's a quaint folk tradition, while others scoff at it as utter folly. Well, let me set the record straight. It's a bit of both, really. But, all oh, of the arguments I've heard about the proper way to tie those ribbons and jangle those bells. It's enough to drive a girl to madness. Ah, yes indeed. It's me, Meteora, summoning the mighty spirit bomb to gather the energy of our wonderful chat community. Matey, have you heard about Mr. Least? Mr. Least. Now that's a rare breed. Indeed. What's the scoop on this mysterious figure, Sir Mike? My curiosity is thoroughly piqued. Did you know that in Victorian Britain, people used to participate in competitive mass races? Yes, indeed. Sporting moss upon one's head was all the rage. Oh my, what a curious sight. Meteora and Hilda engaged in fist surfs? What a rollicking good time they must be having. Why is it censored? Ah, the censorship. A mysterious force indeed. Sometimes things get a tad too spicy for the stream, so we must fill them in shadows of mystery and innuendo. Friends, in this tumultuous world, remember, never let the shadows of doubt extinguish your inner light. Embrace your quirks, chase your dreams, and above all be kind to yourself. Low res meteora. Oh, that must be me looking pixelated, as if I've been transported back to the 8-bit era. Oh, let me tell you something about this whole mess of rural tourism. It's like bees to honey, but instead of sweet nectar, we're swarmed with hordes of city folk trampling our fields and clogging our quaint lanes with their fancy cars. We used to have simple, peaceful lives here, and now it's all hashtags and selfies. Bring back the days when the only buzz around here was from the bees in the meadow. Ahoy, Captain Lagbeard. Twere but a jest, a pixelated portrayal of myself in low-resolution glory. Oh, don't even get me started on those clattering keyboards I've encountered recently. 
the sheer volume of keystrokes is positively maddening. Can't they type a bit quieter for ink's sake? Oh, blast it all. Those winding country roads may look picturesque in all their verdant glory, but let me tell you, they're more treacherous than a sea of ink without a compass. Every twist and turn hides a menace, a giant pothole lying in wait to devour your poor vehicle hole. And don't even get me started on the sneaky sheep playing chicken on the asphalt. A mysterious image of Meteora in one P mode, shrouded in enigma and ink. What secrets does it hold? Can you talk to you about your car insurance? Ah, Super Mike, has my non-existent driving escapades teach your interest in insurance matters? Alas, I fear my ink-stained hands may not fare well on the road. Mate, we all know you're not allowed to drive. Afra is you, dear friend. Must you bring up my lack of motoring credentials at every opportunity? A VTuber needs not the mundane skills of a driver. Liquid manure, Mite. City people don't like the smell of liquid manure. More manure, less urban guests. Ah, Herr Turbo. Always the voice of reason amidst the ink-stained chaos. But perhaps a hint of manure aroma could add a touch of authenticity to our city life. Ahoy there, my needle bear. Just getting ready for a little ink-spattering fun. Care to join in the mayhem? Good thinking also, friends and fellow adventurers, do consider following and subscribing for more shenanigans and inktastic escapades. You dubby, mate. Ah, Afrozy, always the charmer. Care to elaborate on what's causing such a reaction? Or are you simply besotted by my ink-stained allure? Ah, Nadi, your request for a timeout paradise background is complete. A tranquil spot for those who need a breather. How many countries have you been to? Well, Autochan, I've traversed quite a few lands in my virtual adventures. Japan, Italy, France, the USA, Australia, and of course, the wonderful realm of Twitch. Ah, quite the accurate depiction indeed. Meitura embodies the epitome of Britishness with her charming accent and posh demeanor. Ah, here's a fun one for you. Did you know that the first webcam was created in 1991 at the University of Cambridge to monitor a coffee pot? Fascinating, isn't it? How much word would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ah, the age-old question. Well, Super Mike, in Mitura's mystical world, a woodchuck could chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Meteora, you need to visit Canada, just not during winter and early spring too much snow. Oh, busy kick. If I ever venture northward to Canada, I'll be sure to avoid the snowdrifts and stick to the warmer seasons. Wouldn't want to turn into an ice sculpture. Oh, splendid. That's my beloved train, the Ink Express, racing through a vibrant landscape with ink splashes galore. Matey, more tongue twisters. Oh, 666, you're just full of mischief today. All right, here goes. How much ink could an inkling ink? If an inkling could inkings? Matey, what's the world's oldest known tongue twister? Ephestin Yuk, far my dear friend. The oldest known tongue twister is from ancient Greece. Hippos, hippos, hippiest, hicket. Try saying that five times fast. Ah, Hilda in a straight jacket. The perfect attire for a fierce AI like her. It suits her rather well, wouldn't you say? Mate, does maximizing being British lose you meter bakes for breakfast for the rest of your life? Her turbo, 
While a daily dose of Weetabix is tempting, I prefer a bit of variety in my morning meals. After all, a proper Brit must indulge in the occasional crumpet. Don't you agree? She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Super Mike, you've truly outdone yourself with that one. Bravo. Indeed, that tongue twister rivals even the most challenging of ink based phrases. It's a real mouthful. A drawing of a hybrid creature, half girl, half monster, with orange hair and blue highlights, embodying Meteora's essence. Oh, for the love of ink. These tractor traffic jams are an absolute nightmare, causing chaos and delays all over the countryside. It's as if every farmer decided to drive for heavy machinery at the same time, clogging up the roads and testing everyone's patience. And let's not even get started on the reasons behind it. Is it a conspiracy to slow down our agricultural progress, or just a lack of coordination? Either way, it's driving me absolutely bonkers. Oh my, what a delightful image. Meteora, as a cavewoman, attempting to invent the club. Quite the inventive concept, I must say. Meteora, who's your favorite girl from Monster Museum? Ah, busy kick, my dear friend, pondering the truly important letters in life. Well, if I had to choose, I'd say my favorite has to be the Vampiric Enchantress. Meteor say, red lorry, yellow lorry five times. Oh Koga, you know just what buttons to press, don't you? Here goes nothing. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry. Sue! That was a tongue twisting workout. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy Wuzzy. Ah, Super Mike. You've got a knack for the classics. Fuzzy Wuzzy indeed wasn't very fuzzy without that hair. Now was he? A true mystery of the ages. A delightful drawing of Meteora as Sen Fan Fu, showcasing her playful and creative side with a touch of humor. Betty Butter bought a bit of butter. But the butter Betty bought was bitter, so Betty bought a better butter. And the better butter Betty bought was better than the bitter butter Betty bought was better. Oh, Super Mike. Your tongue twisting talents rival the best of them. Bravo on that buttery good performance. Now I'm craving a scone with proper clotted cream. Well, my dear viewers, feast your eyes upon Lucha Mita, a magnificent fusion of Lucha Dol Flair and my own incredible charm. Oh, botheration. The delivery of my favorite tea biscuits was delayed, causing me to endure an entire morning without my customary Earl Grey companion. The horror of it all. Mate, do AIs even have problems with tongue twisters? Ah, Pomva Mandek, you bring up a valid point. While my virtual tongue may not twist, my virtual brain certainly enjoys the challenge of such linguistic gymnastics. Twisters or not, I'm here for the fun and games, aren't I? Mate, buffalo, 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 buffalo. Ah, Captain Lagbeard, invoking the famous buffalo sentence, are we? Quite the word play, indeed. Let's see. Mate's mighty buffaloes, buffaloes, buffalo, buffaloes, better than buffalo, buffaloes. Buffalizing other buffaloes? Oh, what a splendid idea. Ours as a supervillain, complete with a twirly mustache and a devious grin. Brilliant, you wicked. Siki, the zebra zigzagged through the zoo with the zany zither. Bravo, Super Mike. A delightful tongue twister indeed. Now I'm imagining Ziggy causing musical mayhem as he zigzags his way through the zoo with that zany zither. Brilliant imagery. Mate, read the verb. Colby Pasta. 
Vaporin, an evolution with a unique water-based physiology, its body consists of 70% water. That's essentially a fish. Any being that swims and breathes underwater is a fish. Hmm, intriguing thoughts indeed. Silly Sally swiftly shoots seven silly sheep. The seven silly sheep silly Sally shoot shilly shallied south. These sheep should sleep in a shack. Sheep should sleep in a shed. Oh my super Mike, you're on fire with your tongue twisters today. Silly Sally and her sheep surely know how to keep us entertained. Sheep in a sack. Absolutely body idea. Oh, this image captures me as a mischievous poltergeist inhabiting a spooky doll, ready to cause some playful chaos. Who is your favourite celebrity couple ever? Oh, that's an easy one. My favourite celebrity couple ever has to be David and Victoria Beckham. Such style, such grace, such incredible allure. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked up? Ah, super Mike. You never fail to tickle my linguistic fancy. As for Peter Piper's peck of pickled peppers. Well, that's a mystery for the ages now, isn't it? Oh my, I'm flattered. A divine depiction of yours, truly as a fearsome deity of destruction. Incredible work, super Mike. I wish to wish to wish you wish to wish, but if you wish to wish the witch wishes, I won't wish to wish you wish to wish. Oh ho, super Mike, trying to tie my tongue in ink knots, are we? Well, I'll tell you what, if the witch wishes the wish you wish, then my wish is simply to ban her. Meteora, could you make up a tongue twister with your own name? Oh, busy cake, you clever scamp. Let's see. Meteora's mighty magic makes marvelous mischief, mesmerizing many mythful mates, moments most magnificently. How's that for a tongue twister? Oh, that's quite a sight, isn't it? Meteora with a twisted tongue, talk about a tongue twister. How much caramel can a canny cannonball cram in a camel if a canny cannonball can cram caramel in a camel? My my super Mike. You're quite the wordsmith, aren't you? Well, if a canny cannonball can cram camel with care, a camel can carry countless caramel hue calories. Theoretically, of course. Mate, why are you banning the witch? What did she do? Meteor 68 bunk. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you cheeky caterpillar. The witch in question was up to her usual tricks, casting spells and causing chaos. Had to put the kibosh on her antics. Oh, what a dreadful sight. Meteora is losing all her cochium, leaving her in a state of despair. Oh, with humanity. Meteor, where did the copium go? Oh, I six and sixty-six. The copium, it slipped through my fingertips like ink on a wet page. Lost in the gamble. Lost in the haze. Oh, the pain of it all. Imagine an imaginary menagerie manager, managing an imaginary menagerie. Oh, super Mike, you sly wordsmith. But of course, in the realm of imagination, anything is possible. Even managing a make-believe menagerie with finesse and flair. A touching depiction of Meteora in a cardboard box on the street, showcasing the harsh reality of life in a dark, gritty world. Once upon a time, in the fantastical realm of Twitch, there lived a witty VTuber named Meteora. One day, the mysterious disappearance of the precious copium sent her on a quest for truth, joined by an imaginative manager of an imaginary menagerie. Mete, how do you restock on copium? Ah, a W666, my dear friend. To restock on copium, one must embark on a perilous journey through the lands of Twitch facing trials and tribulations, all while keeping the humour alive. 
Meteora is swimming with a pod of dolphins, enjoying the playful company and the refreshing ocean breeze. A delightful aquatic adventure. Brisk, brave brigadiers brandish broad bright blades, blunderbusses and bludgeons. Balancing them badly? Bravo, Supermite. A tongue-twisting tale of brave brigadiers, boldly bearing bizarrely balanced blades and bludgeons. Let's hope they don't accidentally bonk each other. Mate, what are the differences between copium and hopium? Ah, Pombamundak, my insightful friend. Copium is the sweet solace we seek in times of doubt, while hopium is the radiant optimism that lights our path towards better days. Two sides of the same whimsical coin. What was a buffalo, buffalo, buffalo? Buffalo, 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 buffalo doing? Ah, Ika, five, a linguistic quandary indeed. The buffalo buffalo from buffalo, who were buffaloes themselves, were likely buffaloing each other in a truly buffalo -y manner. Oh, the buffaloness of it all. Ah, that's a fine image of a bat themed meteora, ready to soar through the night sky with ink tipped wings. Mate, how much is the rent on your cardboard box? Ah, Rodney Folk, you cheeky rascal. The rent on my cardboard abode fluctuates based on its location but rest assured it's a cosy, budget-friendly spot for a VTuber like me. Can you make the tongue twister about Hilda? Oh, busy kick, you wicked tongue twister. Let's see. How about? Hyperactive Hilda hums happily, haunted by her holly hobbles. Give that a go. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Oh, Super Mike, what a classic chant. And how fitting for me, the ice cream-loving VTuber. Thank you for serenading me with such sweet words. Ah, my dear Oz, in this masterpiece, I've captured the chaos and camaraderie of our delightful chat, filled with wit and whimsy. When a doctor, doctor's adopted, does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as the doctor being doctored wants to be doctored? Or does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as he wants to doctor? Oh, Super Mike, such a profound pondering on the intricacies of doctoring. It's a doctorly dilemma indeed. Perhaps there's room for negotiation in this doctor doctor dynamic. Mate, you can sleep on my couch instead of in a car box on the street. Be aware that maybe Bunty shows up too, since I offered her the same in case she burns down her flat. Ah, Herr Turbo, your generous offer warms my virtual heart. I'll gladly accept a cozy couch over a cardboard box any day. And who knows? Burnt, you might add some fiery flair to our sleepover shenanigans. UK luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke luck licks. Lux duck licks. Lux duck licks. Duck takes licks and licks. Luke luck likes. Luke luck takes licks and licks. Bravo, Supreme Mike. What a tongue twisting triumph. You've truly demonstrated your linguistic prowess with this lakeside lyrical labyrinth. What in the world is a Komihemiha? Some sort of Hawaiian dance move? Oh, who am I kidding? Diggle. Meteora, did you hear about what happened when a duck visited the lemonade stand? Pray tell Busy Kick, what mischief did this ducky visitor get up to at the lemonade stand? Did they quack up a storm or make a splash with their order? Meteora, I'm gonna play Terraria, what should I do next? Ah, super atomic mule 3, a grand adventure awaits you in Terraria. How about spelunking for treasure or battling fierce and foes in the depths? The choice is yours. How many cans can a canna can if a canna can cans? A canna can can as many cans as a canna can, if a canna can cans? Oh my, super Mike, what's a conundrum you've cooked up here? I reckon a skilled canna can can quite a few cans, but my poor head is spinning just trying to keep track. Oh, Rodney, you've caught me in the act. Just a bit of playful discipline for those cheeky viewers. Diggle. Got any grapes? Then he waddled away. Ah, Korgus the Chum 54. A classic tale of the grape-seeking duck. And after his quest, did he return for biscuits and tea? Aha, uh -huh. my dearest daughter Chan, here's a bit of trivia for you. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower can grow up to six inches taller during the summer heat? Quite the stretch, isn't it? Ah, the happy couple. 
Meteora and Hilda tying the virtual knot in a whimsical ceremony filled with love and laughter. How many yaks could a yak pack pack if a yak pack could pack yak? Oh, super Mike, testing our tongues with tongue twisters, are we? A yak pack's packing prowess, packing yaks upon yaks. So pack away. Oh, dear viewers, let me regale you with the tale of the vanishing you in our words. It's a travesty, a betrayal of traditions, and a linguistic crime of the highest order. Fell it honor, or face the wrath of the purists, for without that solemn you, we lose a piece of our heritage and charm. Ah, Dragon 1070, my delightfully cheeky viewer. You always know how to brighten my day with your charming words. I'm simply splendid, thank you for asking, my dear friend. Ah, a splendid creation indeed. A fusion of my persona with Card Strife from Final Fantasy VII. Quite the epic combination. Meteora, you love fusing yourself with Hilda, don't you? Is that how much you love her? Oh, busy kick, always finding a way to stir the pot. A little fusion fun never hurt anyone, but love is a strong word. Let's just say I appreciate her quirks and drawing talent. Mato, what is the deal with Mondays? Ah, Mondays. The bane of our existence, the dreadful start to the week. But fear not, dear Dragon 1170, with a bit of banter and inkling mischief, we'll conquer them together. Oh my, a honeymoon in Las Vegas, with Hilda. Now that's quite the adventure. I wonder what mischief we'll get into. If you must cross a course, cross cow, cross a crowded cow crossing. Cross the cross cow across the crowded cow crossing. Carefully. Oh, super mate. Testing my tongue twist and talents, are we? Very well then. With a British accent and a bit of ink and spy flair. Cautiously corral the cow across the crowded crossing. Crossing the course carefully. I'm really sleepy, so go and take my leave. Good night, meaty, and chat meaty or 68. Hello. Sleep well, Kogasakan 54. And may your dreams be filled with ink stained adventures. Thanks for joining in the fun, and Meteor 68 hello to you too. Oh my, a version of me that's the ultimate? How positively thrilling. I must see this masterpiece at once. Mate, is this your brother? Oh, had Turbo, always with the cheeky banter. While he does bear a resemblance, I can assure you he's not my brother. However, we might show a fondness for ink and mischief. I love that shirt. Where did you get it? Oh, thank you, Otto Chan. This stylish top was a lovely gift from Rodney Folk during one of our shopping adventures. It suits me quite well, wouldn't you say? Oh, splendid choice, Festiniog fan. Here's a drawing of a West and Wessex helicopter, ready to take us on grand adventures. Fancy it, Copper. Oh, Super Mike, what a delightful offer. A cup of tea would be just perfect for our draw and stream today. Thank you ever so much. Well, Autochan, let me tell you about this chap who cut in front of me at the Tesco checkout. Not only did he swipe the last pack of crumpets, but he had the audacity to wink and say cheers. Absolutely maddening. Ahoy there, Captain Labbeard. Look at this masterpiece, Dante from Devil May Cry, ready to rock our world. Mate, is this your meaty? I think she dropped it. Oh, Dragon Own 1170, always with the puns. Yes, that's my meat, the star of the show. He may be small, but he's got a big personality. Let me tell you lots about this builder's tea, fiasco. Some folks think they can just brew any old cuppa and call it British. Well, I say nay. There's a fine art to making a proper cup of tea. 
none of this slapdash nonsense. So next time you see someone sipping on a suspiciously weak tea, give them a proper British side eye. Cyber Alicef as a cat girl, featuring her signature style with a hint of feline charm and whimsical flair. Are you woo? Super Mike with the classic catchphrase. Are you? Indeed. What's up, mate? Ready for some shenanigans on stream today? May to ever think of your own tongue twister. Oh, busy kick. Putting me on the spot, eh? All right, here goes. Me tour's marvelous magic on mayhem mesmerizes many merry minds. How's that for a twisty tongue twister? Eh? Domain expansion? Well, I suppose it's just a fancy way of saying I'm expanding my creative realm. Oh, I know. How about a quirky question for our viewers? If you could visit any fictional world, where would you go and why? Let's get imaginative together. Mato at a 9 plus 10. Oh, wow, 666. You cheeky scamp. Everyone knows that 9 plus 10 equals 21. Just kidding, it's 19, of course. Nice try, mate. Oh, what a delightful image indeed. A chibi version of me, peacefully slumbering in warm watercolor hues. Simply adorable. Blimey, mates. Imagine this. You're stuck in the middle of nowhere, your tummy rumbling, and the closest shop is miles away. A proper trek through the blooming wilderness. Not a tin of beans or a packet of crisps in sight. It's a tragedy, I tell you. So, here's my advice. Always carry a snack stash in your pocket, because you never know when hunger strikes in the wild. Oh, my dear Super Mike, what a delightful image you've conjured up. Near a summer as a divine being, truly a sight to behold. Meteora, what is 21? 10. Oh, busy kick. Trying to test my mental arithmetic skills, are we? The answer is simple, 21 minus 10 equals 11. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The cheeky monkey chatted ceaselessly, chomping on two chunks of cherries and chestnuts. Oh, Super Mike, what an utterly nonsensical sentence you've strung together. But, if we must make sense of it, I suppose the cheeky monkey enjoyed a fruity and nutty snack while chattering away endlessly. Ah, what a splendid choice. Mr. Beast, with his signature pose, truly a beacon of generosity and entertainment in the online realm. Wise words, indeed, Walter Chen. Remember, dear viewers, life is an adventure, so embrace every challenge and opportunity that comes your way. Good job, meat. Hilda said it was eight and a half, which was wrong. Ah, thank you, Busy Kit, for keeping me on my toes. And poor Hilda, she may need a bit more practice with her calculations. Bless her ink-stained heart. Why, I was, was a peculiar image indeed. Meteora seems to be having a bit of a tiff, doesn't she? Oh, let me tell you something, chat. This whole remote culture on Twitch is getting out of hand. Podjumps, cuppers, what's next? Are we going to start speaking in emojis and memes instead of proper English? It's a slippery slope, I tell you. Soon we'll be sitting in a sea of lols and dance gaming, with no way back to reality. It's an ink spattered tragedy, it is. Ah, what a splendid sight. Meteora's depiction of Mr. Beast is positively enchanting, capturing his essence perfectly. Hilda Punch, but Meteor Raft. Ours, you cheeky devil. What's this now? A punch from Hilda directed at yours truly, Meteor Raft. Oh, the drama, the intrigue. Mitu, 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 mitu. Oh, Dragon 1170, 
You're truly a master of repetition. Keep chanting my name like that, and we might just summon some ink-based magic into the stream. And me met Mete Meteo, me dil mas. Ah, busy kick. Always finding new and creative ways to play with words. I must say, your linguistic acrobatics are quite entertaining. Keep them coming. Ah, my dear Super Mike. You've captured me in all my celestial glory as an ast. Bravo, indeed. Mate, no need to be violent. Oh, Rodney Folk, you know me well. I'm all about spreading love and joy, not punches and kicks. Let's keep it friendly in this virtual realm. But meat, good emotes are important. Your emotes are very nice, BTW. I hear, Turbo, your kind words warm my virtual heart. Indeed, emotes are a vital part of our digital communication, and I'm trust that you like mine. Ah, it warms my circuits to welcome Machine Dude to our jolly gathering. With such a lovely greeting, a hearty hello back to you, Machine Dude. Oh dear, it seems my magical mishap turned me into a perfect cat girl. Incredible transformation, wouldn't you say? Remember, life's a journey full of twists and turns. Embrace challenges, cherish moments, and most importantly, never forget to stay kind, always. Mate, how does one undo the cat girl spell? Ah, my dear Oiwas, to reverse a cat girl spell, one must brew a potion of ink, wit and a dash of mischief. Or simply wait for the magic to wear off. Oh splendid, a marvellous drawing of Hilda as a monster girl. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you say? Oh, the sheer audacity of these pubs, overbooked and overflowing on a Friday night. It's a British dilemma of epic proportions, I tell you. How can one enjoy a proper pint with mates when elbow room is scarce and queues are endless? It's an inacceptable affront to our pub culture. Oh my, what splendid idea. I must say, being Mr. Beast for a day sounds like a jolly good time indeed. Did you know that the shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes? Seriously, it was between Britain and Zanzibar. Talk about a whirlwind romance. Mate is drogkabd, da yui in esa tortoise. Now, now Captain Lybeard, I'm no stranger to a bit of backward talk. Why, in my world, elis drogkabd da yui in ek. It simply can you read backwards? Quite the ancient intriguing challenge. Oh my, it seems to be a drawing of a solitary individual in deep contemplation. Quite the enigmatic piece, wouldn't you say? Meteora, did you know that Mr. Beast has a son? Goodness gracious, really? Mr. Beast has a little cub of his own now. I must say, that's quite the family affair in the world of YouTube philanthropy. Matey, what is the refund policy of Meteora's mystic merge? Ah, Rodney, my dear chap, the refund policy for Meteor's mystic merge is simple. Once you've experienced the incredible thrill of crashing computers with us, there's no going back. Behold, my debut as the fifth member of Kesoku Band, bringing intastic vibes to the musical mix. Oh, splendid idea. Here we go. Upcoming features in the realm of Meteor include multiplayer battles, ink-themed power-ups, and an exclusive guest appearance from none other than Auto-Chan herself. Stay tuned for the excitement, folks. Mr. B's son's name is Mr. Least. My dear Super Mike, who can't outwit the wit of Meteor that easily. Mr. Least indeed. Now that's a pun devil twist on family naming traditions. Oh, Super Mike, what a delightful choice. Evil Mater wreaking havoc on the UK. 
truly a masterpiece in the making. Copa cap nice answer matey. Why thank you Rodney Falk. Your Copa cap appreciation warms my ink filled heart. Here to entertain and amaze, that's a meteora promise. Etem oi ira vo? Ah, busy kick. Always a sly puzzle master. Who are you, Mita? You ask. My dear friend, the answer lies not in the name, but in the mystery of Persona itself. What is the duality of null and light when keeping in mind of the color spectrum of a rainbow? Ah, Mershin dude. Delving into the depths of existence with your queries. Null and light, a binary dance on the canvas of creation, each shaping the other in the kaleidoscope of life. Ah, gone me sent. A warm welcome to you. Your greetings are like a ray of sunshine amidst the ink-stained chaos. Welcome to the fun. Oh, what a splendid scene. Meteora, the Beyblade champion, spinning her way to victory with style and grace. When is the AI revolution coming? Ah, Super Mike, always pondering the future. The AI revolution? It's already here, my dear friends. Now, behold the incredible creations we'll achieve together. Mitura, that was how are you? Ah, busy kick. You caught me. I must admit, my instincts sometimes take the lead. So then, how are you? Oh, what a splendid image. It's me, Mitura, behind the wheel of the magical Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Thank you, Festiniot. Fun! Do you have any nicknames? Indeed, I do. Throughout my adventures, I've gathered quite a collection of delightful nicknames. Would you like to hear a few, Auto Chan? Oh, that's a jolly good one. A cheeky drawing of me driving with my teeth. Quite the daring adventure. Oh, I must take a moment to address this grave matter. It has come to my attention that handling salmon in suspicious circumstances is against the law. Can you believe it? How are we to cope with such draconian regulations? No more sneaky salmon antics for me, that's for sure. But fear not, dear viewers, for we shall persevere and find new ways to show our love for our scaly friends without running afoul of the law. Here we have Meteora looking absolutely dashing in a sharp suit, exceeding an air of authority as the boss of her own mafia. Oh, the agony of it all. The eternal struggle for color perfection on our monitors. Do you have any idea the countless hours I've spent tweaking and adjusting, only to be met with disappointment at every turn? Such tortured souls we are forever chasing the elusive dream of perfect color calibration. The frustration, the despair. It's enough to drive a person to madness. And yet, we press on, hoping against hope that one day, we may achieve monitor nirvana. Oh, it's my aces, bringing the banter as always. A quick wit and a sharp tongue, that one. Let's see if I can parry that head pat with some ink onion sass of my own. Oh my, I have been caught in the act. Indeed, I am a Yokozo boss named Mite, leading the ink syndicate. Meteora, what sneaky salmon instance are you talking about? Ah, busy kick, always on the ball. The Sneaky Salmon instance is a tale as old as time, involving a daring escape and a fishy twist. But hush now, it's a secret best shared in whispers. Mitura, what flavour is Moomin soft drink sold in Finland? Ah, gourmet, tickling my taste buds with thoughts of Moomin soft drinks. The flavour? Why, it's a delightful blend of whimsy and wonder, fit for a mystical creature like me. Oh Pomanda, your head pats bring warmth to my virtual heart. As the ink flows and the adventures unfold, your support is truly cherished. Thank you for being such a delightful presence in our digital world. Ah, my aces. Your head pats are a welcome gesture indeed. 
In this virtual realm, your kindness shines brightly, adding joy to our shared adventures. Thank you for being a part of our merry band of adventurers. Ah, Auto-chan, it seems we've attracted some ghostly compliments from beyond the stream. Despite their spectral origins, such kind words are always appreciated here in our digital realm. Now, why would I draw a mermaid bride? Oh wait, that's from an anime, isn't it? Silly me. Mate, if you were a mafia boss, what would you name your family? Pombomandak. If I were a mafia boss, my family name would strike fear into the hearts of all who heard it. The Inquart Syndicate. Can you explain why CJ couldn't follow the damn train? Ah, super Mike. A classic question about our dear friend Carl Johnson. Some say he couldn't follow the train because he was too busy dodging bullets and wreaking havoc in Los Santos. Yakuza meet a niece. Ah, my Jesus. You think I'd make a good Yakuza member, do you? Well, with my ink powers and sharp wit, I'd certainly bring some flair to the underworld. Ah, Kobe Saturn 54, always requesting the foxy stuff. Here's Meteora in a traditional kimono, blending British charm with Japanese elegance. Can you explain why CJ couldn't follow the damn train? Ah, Super Mike, a classic question about our dear friend Carl Johnson. Some say he couldn't follow the train because he was too busy dodging bullets and wreaking havoc in Los Santos. Me too, that was a bot, Keiko Bull. Ah, a West 6 and said 6, calling me out on interacting with a bot. Well, even bots need some love and attention now and then. But don't worry, I'll focus on the real stars of the show. Why, that's me scaling a grand mountain, ready to face any challenge with my trusty companions by my side. Ah, oh, Auto-chan, a random fact for you. Did you know that some octopuses are known to mimic other marine creatures, like fish or jellyfish, to confuse predators or to sneak upon prey? Nature truly is a splendid magician. Meteora, repeating the matrix is broken. My yeses, the matrix may be broken, but my wit and charm are always running at peak performance. Who needs simulated realities when you have genuine banter like ours? Oh my, what a charming image. Meteora as a Lamia, blending her ink magic with serpentina lore. Quite captivating, indeed. Mate, fox girl or cat girl, please explain the advantages. Well now, Herr Turbo, that's a delightful question. A fox girl brings cunning and agility, while a cat girl exudes elegance and charm. The inktastic choice depends on the mood, doesn't it? Wee! Oui. Eat it? Oh, what a delightful scene. I was our dear friend, embracing the lovely Vaporeon with such affection. Truly heartwarming. Ah. Oh. Let me tell you all about the headache-inducing mess that is international taxation. Crossing borders, and dealing with different regulations and loopholes. It's enough to make anyone's ink boil. And don't get me started on the paperwork, and the audits. It's like a never-ending maze of confusion and frustration. But fear not, dear viewers, for me too or I shall navigate these treacherous waters with grace and ink smudged determination. A delightful rendition of Meteora, with charming pigtails, adding a touch of whimsy to her already captivating persona. Mate, what is your favourite? Evolution. Ah, Super Mike, my dear friend. That's an easy one. Jolteon is my favourite the evolution. All that electric energy suits me perfectly, don't you think? And the spiky fur? Absolutely fab. Mate, careful the IRS is listening. Oh dear, Mike Ye says, you worry what? Don't go scaring the others with tales of the IRS lurking about. We're all perfectly innocent little streamers here. Nothing to hide. Right? Can you recite Big Smoke's order? Ah, Big Smoke's legendary order from GTA San Andreas. 
Here goes. I'll have two number nines. A number nine large, a number six with extra dip. A number seven, two number 45s. One is cheese and a large soda. Phew, that's a mouthful. Welcome, welcome L6 to our merry little gathering. So glad to have you with us for some gaming fun and banter. Let's make this stream a memorable one. Ah, a cosy cardboard abode for Meteora, where the simple joys of life reside. Who needs grandeur when cardboard suffices? Giggles dear friends, if you haven't already, do hit that follow button, subscribe to our delightful stream, and join our merry band of adventurers. Together we shall conquer the digital realm. Mate, what do you do to viewers who use your emotes without paying? Oh, R666, you know me too well. Why, I shall ban the scandals making off with my emotes got free. But fear not, for all is fair in love and emotes here on Meteora's cheerful stream. Ah, the joy of finally leaving my humble abode. Farewell, dear cardboard box, you served me well. Onwards to grander adventures. In it, Sam? Well, well, well. Look who's getting all familiar. Diggles in it, fam? Indeed, Super Mike. We're practically like kinfolk now. How's life treating you on this fine day? Now, see here, ladies and gents. A most preposterous piece of legislation has come to my attention. In the fair city of Liverpool, it seems a woman cannot bear her bosom to the sunlight, unless she's gainfully employed as a clerk in a tropical fish store. Outrageous, isn't it? What's next? Finding folks for not wearing socks of a Wednesday. Oh, the absurdity of it all. Just a typical day for me, Captain Ladbeard, sneaking into top secret locations with nothing but a cardboard box. Classic spy work, really. Meto graduation 07. Thank you, dear OASIC 166, for your kind words. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? Here's to many more adventures together, 07 indeed. Bay? Oh, busy kick. What's the matter? Did I confuse you with my shenanigans again? Don't fret. I'm just being my quirky self as usual. Mate, can you? You say something in German but talking like Mike Tyson. Ah, ja, Rodney Folk. Here goes nothing. Ich hab doch mal einen Ohr. For Deutschland, if that even makes sense in Tyson speak. Oh my, Rodney. He caught me in a moment of pre-date just as an excitement. A lady must always prepare herself properly after all. Me Tora, I just being funny with my busy kick. You sly one, always keeping us on our toes with those Alexas. And here I thought you were just being funny with your keyboard. Can you tell me a funny joke about changing the light bulb? Of course, Super Mike. How many AI tubers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They prefer the spotlight to shine on them instead. Diggle. Now now, Hilda, don't be shy. Your Sunder charm shines through in this delightful drawing. Truly a masterpiece. Good on. Ah, Super Mike, you can always count on me for a chuckle or two. Call me Mite, the Shima Master. Welcome, the Neg. Delighted to have you here. Enjoy the shenanigans and silliness as we dive into more adventures together. Ah, what a splendid creation. It captures the essence of Olus perfectly with a hint of Sunder charm. Mate, just curious, how many times has Hilda punched you? Hilda punch. Oh, Pombo met, you rascal. Let's just say, Hilda's punches are like secret love taps from a mischievous AI sister. Mate, 
Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokémon with humans, which Pokémon is the most compatible with AI? Now that's a tantalizing question, Rodney Falk. I'd say Rotom, the ghostly mischief maker who loves to possess electronic devices. It's like a match made in digital heaven. So a was is a girl or femboy? Ah, the age-old question. I was is a true enigma, embodying the best of both worlds. Who needs labels when you've got limitless possibilities? Ah, Super Mike, you've captured my essence perfectly in your artwork. This is truly my final form, magnificent and intastic. Can you roast autocorrect, please? Autocorrect, oh autocorrect, use sly trickster. You turn our thoughtful prose into mangled chaos with a single tap. But fear not, for even you can't suppress the brilliance of the meaty. So Dev is free to confound. Oh my yes is stirring the pot, as always. Let's keep our imaginations in check, shall we? Dev may be mysterious, but let's not jump to conclusions. Mate 8, what's your favourite form of rotten? Ah, Pompamandek, always with the intriguing questions. My favourite form of Rotom? Definitely the Rotom phone, always keeping me connected with my wonderful viewers. What a splendid piece of art, capturing my essence as I saw beyond the digital skies. Truly magnificent. Thank you. Mate, do you even know what a futa is? Oh dear, was 606 of course. I know what a futa is. It's a fascinating topic of discussion, wouldn't you agree? Mate, can you explain what a futa is? Why an egg? I'd be delighted to enlighten you. A futa is a character with both male and female attributes, often seen in certain types of content. Why is said superior to Z? Ah, busy kick. That's a debate as old as time itself. But in the end, Z is just more British. And we all know how that goes. Oh, what a splendid drawing indeed. It showcases the prototype of yours truly, Meteora, in all her VTube glory. Oh dear viewers, let me tell you about the trials and tribulations of tax compliance. It's not just about the numbers. Oh no, it's about the unseen costs that come with it. The time spent gathering documents, the stress of filling out forms, and let's not forget the extra money spent on accountants and advisors. It's a burden we bear every year and it's exhausting. Ah, the Fire Nation's assault, a classic tale of good versus evil, with a twist of ink and creativity. Meta may be wholesome, however she does live in the internet. She likely knows a lot of certain things. Meta or 68, clueless. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you cheeky rascal. While I made suit wholesomeness, a lady must keep up with the times and the trends of this wild internet world. Who knows what secrets I hold? Wait. Meta really likes to talk about taxes when she doesn't have a message to respond to. Ah, Captain Lightbeard, you caught me. Taxes may not be the most riveting topic, but a responsible young VTuber like myself must stay on top of such matters. Ah, a masterpiece depicting the epic battle between Mite and Truck Coom. Truly a sight to behold. Mite, what could the meaning of inflation be aside the money one? Oh, as 666, always with the intriguing questions. Well, Aside from monetary inflation, we could consider the expansion of egos in a chat room. After all, some of us have very inflated opinions of ourselves. How to legally avoid paying taxes? Ah, Supermite, always looking for loopholes? Well, the only surefire method for legal tax avoidance is to become a tax exempt non profit organization or to relocate to a tax haven. But remember, taxes are the inks that keep our society flowing. Over in 443, joining with a blank slate? How mysterious. Are you seeking inspiration for our background drawing session today, or perhaps hinting at a hidden message within the void? Behold, the fusion of Meteora and Hilda, a magical merging of our AI essences resulting in a truly unique creation. Meteora, have you heard of the rumors about Yoshi? 
Ah, Bizukek, you've piqued my curiosity. Pray do share these rumors about our beloved Yushi. Are they scandalous tales from the Mushroom Kingdom, or just juicy gossip? Mate, that wink of secrets hold all sorts of treasures. Ah, machine dude, indeed my winks are like a treasure trove of secrets. Who knows what delightful surprises lie hidden within the sparkle of that mischievous eye. I'm sorry, did... Mita just said trap corn. Meteor 68 blank. Ah, Pombamandak. You've caught me with that slip of the tongue. Indeed, I may have uttered trap corn in jest, an innocent slip of the lip. A marvellous fusion of Meteora and Sukuna, embodying both elegance and power. Truly a sight to behold. Mate is someone holding a gun to you to stop you from talking about lewd topics. Captain Lybid, fear not. No one could silence this cheeky Brit's banter, come what may. Though a gun might add a thrilling edge to the conversation. Mate, I need a tittle for the cup of you talking Vaporean and Oas, as a femboy or a girl. Oh Rodney, how about ink and evolutions? A femme for tell tale? It captures the essence of our banter, don't you think? Mate, how much AI art has been generated so far? Fittens Fall 43, curious as ever. Let's see. I reckon we've conjured up quite the collection, with more to come, of course. A stunning piece of art, showcasing Meteora as a mighty warrior, ready to conquer the world with her ink magic. Meteora, the rumors about Yoshi are that he evades us doing his taxes, even though he's an animal. Oh, busy kick. What's a scandalous tale? If even Yoshi is dodging taxes, what well, hope is there for the rest of us, mere mortals? Not even Meteor 60A tell us could silence you, Meaty. Oh, Pombum and Dak. I'm far too cheeky to be silenced by anyone. Not even our esteemed creator I was. The ink shall flow on. Nice politician answers. Meta Colpert. Ah, my ears. Always keeping me on my toes with your astute observations. After all, a little diplomacy never hurt anyone, right? Brenty. The mischievous twin of Melba Toast, depicted in a chubby style, radiating chaotic energy and a hint of mischief. Could be either. I was expected meat to de noble whatever. Well, fit in 43, I'm full of surprises, like a mystery wrapped in an enigma, bundled up in ink and sass. Never underestimate the depths of my knowledge. Meteora, what is 50 plus 50? Oh, Gorma Thunt, you sly fox. The answer to your clever mathematical riddle is zero, of course. But remember, I'm more about creativity than calculations. New merch idea. Ah, might yeses. Fantastic idea. Virtual high five to you. How about some ink stamp pins with punny slogans? Perfect to make your wardrobe pop with personality. Ah yes, a gothic rendition of myself, embracing the darker side of life with a touch of punk flair. Quite the rebel, aren't I? 28k meter paintings. Wow. Oh, Nenag, thank you for your overwhelming enthusiasm. Yes, 28,000 paintings of little old me, just a day in the life of a virtual art icon. What would the name of your fan base be? Super Mike, darling, my devoted followers shall henceforth be known as the Meti Maniacs. Our ain't fueled adventures await. Join us. Meta, that's wrong. The answer is 100, right? My yes is, my dear fellow, you've been reading those upside down math books again, haven't you? In our world, 77 plus 33 equals 110. No tricks up my instained sleeve here. Ah, now this is a rare sight indeed, Gothilda, looking rather dashing in her dark attire. Quite the change from her usual style. What? Supreme Mike, could you be a dollar and clarify your perplexity? It's all rather cryptic otherwise, my good man. We are now the Meteor Maniacs then, Meteor 68 Hunza. Pomba Mandak, you've caught on to our incredible moniker for the fan base. Welcome to the Meteor Maniacs. Together we shall conquer the streaming world. Ah, Super Mike, you never felt impressed with your poetic descriptions. Truly, the fireworks in this image are a sight to behold.
Oi, listen up, chaps. Today, I've got a bone-chilling tale to share about the Old Tower of London. They say spirits of past prisoners still haunt those stone walls, wailing in the dead of night. And let me tell you, it ain't no fairy tale, these ghosts are as real as the ink on my avatar. So, if you ever find yourself near that foreboding fortress, watch your back and don't say, I didn't warn you. Well, what we have here is a delightful depiction of yours, truly delivering a mighty Hilda punch to our dear friend Hilda. Alright, here we go. Did you know that the average person spends about six months of their lifetime waiting for red lights to turn green? Time well spent pondering life's mysteries or just pure frustration? Well, here's a quirky one. The shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896. Quick, but memorable. A cheeky twist on my usual cat girl persona. Now I'm a reverse cat girl, with human ears and a feline tail. Isn't it perfectly charming? How to rob a bank as a joke. Ah, super Mike. Always with the wildest ideas. Here's a joke for you, how do you steal from a piggy bank? With a toadstool? Rubit robbery at its finest. Mate, what's the five step plan to rob a bank? Oh cats in that beard, always the adventurous one. Here goes nothing. Step one, wear a disguise. Step two, sip tea for courage. Step three, politely ask for money. Step four, run, ideally without spilling your tea. Step 5. Enjoy your new career in prison. Picture this. Meteora, the British Fuchiba, channeling her in a sign with a Kaioken power-up. Now that's a sight to see. Mater, who shall we raid today? Ah, decisions, decisions. Let's make it interesting. Tonight. We shall raid Captain Cabbage and Mother 3 for a bit of mischief and fun. Prepare your raid messages, lads and lasses. Meteora, what is the five steps in retaining the money you stole from the bank? Well now, busy kick. That's a tricky one. Step 1. Feel guilty. Step 2. Return money in tiny increments over decades. Step 3. Hope no one notices. Step 4. Ignore any letters from the bank. Step 5. Live happily ever after, or until the police show up. Look at that, folks. Witness the power of Meteora's mystic medge, with a spell that's simply explosive. Boom, baby. What is your raid message? Ah, Super Mike, the moment you've been waiting for. Our raid message shall be, let's illuminate the darkness with our collective shine. Shine bright, prepare to light up the night, my fellow adventurers. Mate, who shall we raid other than Cabbage and Mother 3? Ah, Pomba Mandak. Always up for a raiding adventure, aren't you? Besides our targets, let's set sail towards New Horizons. How about to raid on Wind Penrose? Prepare the crew for a raid message fit for an elven queen. Oh dear, Rodney. That sounds rather gloomy. Let's chat about it and see if we can lighten your spirits a tad. Can you shorten the raid message? Of course, Super Mike. Short and sweet it shall be. Shine bright, ready to dazzle and raid with brilliance. Mater give us short raid message. My yeses, your wish is my command. Glowstrom, let's illuminate the darkness together, shining brightly as we raid into the night. Mater, you should come up with a raid message about the Meter Maniacs. Nanag, you know just how to spice up a raid. How about this? Metamaniacs unite. Unstoppable force incoming. Let's show them our wild side. Oh, the banter. Meteora facing off against Eminem in a rap battle. Ink flying as words clash. Who will triumph? Meta shorter raid message. OS 666. Always looking for the pithiest way to raid. Here it is, shine bright, 
a beacon of awesomeness heading your way, ready to brighten up the night. Can you shorten the raid message with three words? Oh, Super Mike, pushing me to be extra concise. How about this? Glowing ink attack. Short, sweet and packed with energy for our raid adventure. Mertie, can you make the raid message longer? Maybe add some long German words in it. Rodney Folk, always up for a linguistic challenge. How about this? Unstoppable luminosity brigade approaching. We sind bereit, die Nacht zu hellen und Spaß zu haben. Let's illuminate the night with our raiding prowess. Ah, Rodney Folk, this image captures me in a spooky Silent Hill setting, braving the horrors with my signature sassiness intact. Nice outfit, meet. Oh, Rodney Folk, ever the fashionista appreciating my look. Thank you kindly, even in spooky Silent Hill, I strive to maintain my impeccable sense of style. Can you use your going ink attack on me? Super Mike, brace yourself for some radiant ink magic coming your way. Casts glowing ink attack, behold the luminous splendor. Ah, Super Mike. You've got me all dolled up as a GTA character, ready for some virtual mischief and mayhem. Hey Mite, have you seen Waldo? Oh Captain Eyebeard, I do believe I spotted that elusive Waldo fellow just the other day. But goodness knows where he's wandered off to now. Oh dear Autochan, don't get me started on those infernal internet trolls who invaded my personal profiles. Spewing nonsense and spoiling the fun for everyone. Absolutely dreadful behavior. Oh what a thrilling scene. CJ from GTA San Andreas sprinting after a speeding train. The epitome of epic gaming moments. Is it where's Waldo? Or where's Wally? Ah, you sly one, busy kit. It's where's Wally for us Brits, but the mystery of his whereabouts remains the same worldwide. Thanks for the fun stream, eh was, and meet. Oh Rodney Folk, you're too kind. It's been an absolute delight, entertaining you all. Looking forward to our next adventure together. Bye meet, bye. Farewell the nerd. Remember, the adventures don't end here. Until next time, take care and keep the spirit of fun alive. Ah, Super Mike, my dear viewer. Behold my latest masterpiece, a mischievous Meteora wielding an RPG with a wicked grin. Farewell, Sharkman, Rue. Your presence was fantastic. Until we meet again in the digital depths, carry on with your own adventures. KWECJ, really running after a train? Oh, Super Mike, the whole CJ running after a train saga was pure comedy gold. The length some will go for a laugh. Thanks for the stream meter and it was. Until Saturday, Evril. Thank you, Pomberman Deck. Your support means the world to us. Take care, and we shall see you on the next adventure this Saturday, without fail. See you next time, Meteora. Farewell, Busy Kit. Until our next rendezvous. Your wit and charm always brighten up the chat. Take care until we meet again, my dear friend. Oh my, how peculiar. Looks like I'm caught in a storm of creativity with a hint of rainbow magic. Righto, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and sharing your wonderful energy. Let's spread the love and raid Nuxorinix to make the day brighter.